everybody, welcome back to the Giant Beast Cast. I'm Vinny Caravella. This is episode 300 and scrolls to the right in the dock. Six, episode 306, April 1st, folks. No fool. Yeah. No fooling. No fooling. No fooling. No We're fool. doing a show. I, you can trust me. I never fool. I never goof. Straight shooter. Number one podcast in the universe. Straight truth coming at you on the Truth Express. Uh, this is um, uh, April 2nd. If it's Friday, if you're listening here, I'm going to get this right out of the way. I'm joined by Lucy James and Jake Decker. Two fantastic people with two fantastic names. Both, uh, Thank you. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, they're we'll both. Slide I, the twenty dollars across. The no, mm-hmm. you got Lucy. You have like a, a great like action movie name. Like and, and Jake, awesome. you're just a sci-fi character. You you you're never gonna escape like Blade Runner. So you're just yeah. You're just kind of. Just, I'm I'm okay with that. That yeah. works yeah. for me. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I I am not to be trusted because I have three first names. Three. So What's the third yeah. one? Jennifer in the middle. So I'm I have three first names. Can't wow. Trust me. <gasps> Yeah. Is that a thing? You can't trust yeah. people with multiple first names? Yeah, I guess apparently. I can see that. I yeah. have, uh, I mean, most people, well, I guess, uh, raise, uh, raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand if you don't have a middle name. Yeah. See, I wish I didn't because I hate it. Yeah, I, hate I know. my middle name. I think it's so uh, stupid. Alex, yours like is, my, uh, yours is like the best. I don't like my first name either, but. Yeah, no, I'm 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 Alex twice, so you know that's how you know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, Lucy and Jake, thanks for joining us. Lucy and Jake from GameSpot, uh, and uh, not to be confused with GameStop, no, a different company, no, no different very, outlet entirely. Very, very you guys different. There wasn't like any confusion during that whole fiasco, was there? Yes. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was a few. There, there was. There happened to be some. Okay. Yeah. I feel like our social media did particularly well during that whole fiasco because whenever we like make a joke about the stocks or whatever, yeah. people would be like, "Oh, it's them. They're making a joke about themselves." Yeah. And it's like, nah, it's not us. I so. love brands on Twitter. Yeah, a lot of right? a lot of stocks that didn't deserve any money uh, got some some love from that whole thing there, didn't they? I'd, yeah, yeah it's this. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Jeff Backlar's no. here. Hey, how how uh, how's it going, everyone? Glad to be here. Feeling good. Good. April's here. It is. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah. And Alex Navarro. Indeed, I am here. Uh, at least until just about three o'clock, because uh, according to uh the word on the street, the smoke on the street, uh, nice. I'm maybe getting vaccinated today, so Ooh, I should probably oh, just yeah. go do that. Yeah. Okay. In doubt. Uh, you say maybe? What I only that? say in doubt because I don't trust anything at mm-hmm. this point. I like mm-hmm. my trust has been completely demolished by the sequence of events of the last year and change. Sense. So sure. until that needle is in my arm and the liquid is uh, running its way through my veins and making the disease go bye bye, uh, is oh, oh, oh. I, my limited understanding to, of vaccines. Well, that's well, how it well, works. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay, sure, Listen, sure, <laughs> sure. Hey, whatever makes you feel better, bud. That's two, yeah. two things I want you to make sure of when you're uh-huh. when you're getting this vaccination. One, don't get it behind uh, the Seven <laughs> Eleven. Got it. Uh, yeah. All right, no you, needles do there. Do it where you're supposed to. Mm-hmm. When they put the, put it in there, make sure they put the actual vaccine in you. I've heard uh-huh. you know you don't you don't want it to just stab you and then they don't do it. Make sure they put the plunger in. Okay. That's something you want to Yes, I will be paying before. attention to that aspect. Yeah. I will yeah. make sure that the person yeah, does it, that. If the plunger's yeah, in already and they pull it out, that's wrong. That's <laughs> That means they're stealing your life. You, that's uh, That person's blood, a vampire. It, that's bad. That's you don't bad. want that. Yeah. 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 I haven't heard of also, that happening, but... Also, make sure there was actually liquid in there, because yeah. I think I saw an episode of CSI where someone killed, mm. like she killed her husband by injecting him with air. Oh, oh yeah, every yeah. procedural air? crime show mm-hmm. ever has had an episode where someone got murdered by a needle with air in it. That is yeah. that is one of the favorite tropes of crime oh. fiction. Like if is, if if the, if the whoever administers the vaccine goes for a freckle, that's that's because it's untraceable. You can't get it through. The what? Cycle. Stop wow. it! But I've I've seen a lot what? of CSI, a fr- and that's what I've I swear I've seen that. That's you can't, you can't check the pin. I thought it was like uh, yes. don't you go between the fingers or something? Isn't that the isn't that how you do it? No, that's, I, that's, that's, the the oh, that's, that's like a heroin addict. thing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's heroin. You're thinking of heroin. 
Whoa. You know, okay. Gosh. It's, you know, listen, you still yeah, the make same, sure you're getting same. Hey, we got there different ways, the but um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And not heroin. That's okay. right. Not heroin. <laughs> Let's do Ideally that. Well, not heroin. You yeah. see the va- the COVID Moderna label fall off and it just says heroin <laughs> behind no, it. No, like, it would just, oh, it would have, it would have three X's like, uh, like an damn it. Yes. Just like, uh, Alex, that's good for you. That's a, so Thank this you. is, uh, the first of two. You're going for the double. I, it, I, I believe this is the single shot one. Whoa! Oh, Johnson and Johnson. Johnson? Slow down. I believe yeah. this is the single shot. That is what the website told me. So I keep again. saying believe, like you're not sure it's going to happen. And I don't trust uh, anything. I'm telling you, my trust is shattered. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Take I'm nothing you. for granted. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I looked up. Uh, I did a casual survey to see about New Jersey, and the site I went to just says New Jersey is booked. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's just it's just a big I'm red X. Shenanigans. It's, Flag on the play. Okay. Well, Listen. Yeah, I got my I got mine very easily. Okay, I don't. I think you just you're a very charming. How many lives? Who knows what to tell to get there? You don't charm your way into a a fucking COVID (laughs) vaccine. You don't like slip the guy at CVS a fifty and uh, you know just get 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 stabbed. You were probably like talking hockey or something. Right, it might it might work, and especially in New Jersey. <laughs> well, maybe under the Christie administration, but maybe not not so right. much these days. Agreed. Agreed. Um, well, sure. Alex, you do have to get out of here, so we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to okay. make sure that we run long. Uh, so, <laughs> um, let's start with with, with a, uh, a game I've been playing, Genesis Noir. Anybody else play Genesis Noir? I started a little bit of it. Okay, I haven't played it yet, but I have downloaded it. Yeah, very, wa- very very wacky game. It is on uh, Xbox Game Pass on PC and on the console. It is a game. Uh, it's called an adventure game. Uh, very stylized adventure game with a, a I jet. I don't know if I wacky is the word I would use for it. Okay. Well, let's say wacky in the Wild. way of like a, like a wacky cigarette. It's very jazzy. Um, it's a very, it's like, what? You never, it's what like the hell's a, a wacky cigarette, dude? It's marijuana. The devil's it's, lettuce. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, uh, I never, the devil's lettuce drums. I've never heard before, but I do oh. like it. Yeah. People, yeah. I, devil's lettuce might be like a West Coast thing, because I've only heard West Coast people call it devil's lettuce. Yeah, devil's I'm just like, I, I've, I've always heard it as a joke. Like people yeah. are always yeah. like, the like, devil's no lettuce, make your eyes that. redder than the devil's dick. At least that's what they Whoa. said in Super Bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. We're doing Satan cockery. All uh-huh. right, right yeah. out in the first twenty minutes. We usually save that for the second half. Um, so it happens when you get Game Spot after dark on. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> um, well, um, I don't know where to go from there. So speaking of the devil's dick, uh, <laughs> Genesis Noir uh, is a game about. Um, an abstracted game about the Big Bang and the creation of the universe, and oh. um, what it's it's again it's it's in this kind of couched in this adventure game noir adventure uh, as with this jazzy backdrop and this kind of Saul Bass meets sixties uh, Tom and Jerry uh, kind of aesthetic going on. Um, <sighs> what? Yeah, there's a lot happening in it. Wow. Yeah, so the gameplay. Maybe is not all that, but the style and the presentation's pretty good. Um, you kind of make your way through the events of creation and time itself, uh, doing different little mini games and different things, and you, you're basically trying to stop a murder. Uh, and you have some choices at the end, and I really enjoyed it. It's only about three or four hours long. Genesis Noir. I think it's fifteen dollars available on most platforms except PlayStation. Um, I, I could think it's only. Switch, Xbox, a bunch of PC Game platforms. Pass, right? Yeah, it's Game Pass. I think it is on yeah. Game Pass. Yeah. A lot of stuff's on Game Pass. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff. Um, Too much. I'm Too- into it. I, I think it's a vibes game for sure. It is very much about, you know, just sort of drinking in the visuals and the soundtrack while really weird shit happens in front of you. But I'm pretty into that. Like, I yeah. don't necessarily need it to be a super challenging adventure game. Like, I'm more than happy to just kind of poke at some and click on some stuff and then fucking you shoot the big bang out of a gun it's, well you it's don't do thing. it but somebody is yeah. doing it um That's yeah a, it, it's a game that i totally judge by its cover yeah i, I was scrolling around and i think my wife saw it she's like that's cool i'm like that is cool it is we definitely downloaded cool it and forgot about it but okay. i'm gonna play it this week for sure it's it's pretty short you could probably n- knock it out in a sitting or or two um Speaking of Game Pass, just while um, uh, we're on the topic, jumped into uh, Desperados again for the eighth time, uh, and then finally said, uh, as I've said in the last you know four weeks, hey, I 
I really think I should be playing this on PC and not on console. And then um, went and finally played it on PC and was like, yep, I was right. I should be playing this on PC. This this controls a lot uh, more like I expect it to. And I'm enjoying it. I think that game is fun and, and kind of, um, you know, it's like I didn't play the other Desperados, but it's very Commandos-ish uh, and, uh, you know, uh, goofy and weird and cowboy-y uh, in a, in a kind of dopey, fun way. I've only played a couple of hours of it, but um, yeah, enjoying it. And I also jumped into uh, Dishonored uh, hey. again. Yeah, Dishonored again for the for Game the first time. Well. I, yep. I did the exact same thing last Friday when we had our little recharge day. I okay. Through the first how, couple levels. Okay, yeah. So how far did you wind up getting? So... Uh, I've played it through a few times on PlayStation, so I've okay. started again on Xbox Game Pass, and I got through, um, what am I up to? I did the first level, met Granny Rags. Who am I killing? Oh, I'm going to the brothel. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the, mm. I'm going to the brothel and doing all that I don't that know if I'm up to but that yet. Who, I, <laughs> yeah, the last thing I did was the Lord Overseer, but I'm trying to do Ghost and Clean Hands. Oh, you're playing for real. But... Dishonored 2 did it so much better because you could check throughout the level if anyone was discovered or you were seen. Dishonored 1, you can't do that. You have to wait until you finish the level. And oh. I fucked up my first run. So <gasps> I've, I've already failed. Lucy, so you start I don't wanna... over? No. Okay. I, I don't want to put you on the spot, Lucy, but didn't you say that you weren't going to do any Year replays? Of... No, Year replays. No replays. What are you doing? <laughs> we got action here. Year so, no, no, no. replays now. So that's the thing is like, I realized that in 2020 all i did was just like replay old stuff and watch old movies because that's psychological safety right yeah, you know, stuff sure. that you you, yeah, you yeah. know your comfort, comfort food, food. Yeah. yeah and then i realized you know how much stuff am i missing and so in 2021 i was like okay well no replays and um well i've i've failed that spectacularly because my roommates were watching re-watching all the marvel movies so i've been watching a few of those okay mm. replaying dishonored replayed edith finch earlier because i want to be sad yeah oh i um, i cry like like such a little baby with that game mm -hmm. yeah i did that um New and so, resolutions are explicitly for breaking so exactly. i say yeah. more power to you my my because i'm also keeping a list because i'm cool mm. which has tags and it's a searchable list wow cool um <laughs> Yeah, I want My to hear more about this. Can, can we just can we hold that? Is there a I, spreadsheet we can access? I'm just like a database kind of nerd, like spreadsheet oh. person. What are you doing? How are we cataloging? Notion. I bet. Notion. I'm doing it in Notion. Let me okay. let me pull it up. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Is this um, fake typing or was that real typing? You're, no, you had, you had it up already. No, you've been... What's Data my tag? Databases and keyboards. Lucy, Let's go. You've been keeping notes on this podcast, haven't you? Nope. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I basically have a database and you can... Um, well, I'm really putting myself out here, but yeah. you can you can organize it by stuff that's in progress, stuff that I've finished, stuff that I have abandoned. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gotta have those parameters, of course. How else are you supposed to understand what you've done? Tagged by platform too. So stuff on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Switch. Um, I also have TV shows in there and movies and books. And I wow. have read a single book this year, which is terrible. That's it. It's just, the year's just getting started. Listen. What what well, <laughs> you know it's the fiscal year yeah, just got started. Fiscal yeah. The fiscal year has started as of today. It's been like three months. Like that's nothing. That's just getting up to speed. Yeah. That's getting out of bedtime. Oh, yeah. uh, we're still in twenty twenty. But you know, yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. Um Lucy, I uh, Dishonored, I hit a wall in Dishonored the first time I played it, mm. and it just wound up in a situation where as a stealth game, I want to play it very stealthily, and I just mm -hmm. wound up not fully grasping the vision cones or the sense of when somebody's going to spot me or how this is going to go wrong. Is yeah. it is it just that type of game of quick save and then kind of reload uh, if you goof up? Yes. Okay, that's what I and just I mean yeah, and Dishonored Two is is my personal favorite because of the way that it really leans into letting you do that you can if you just pause the game you can use the triggers to quick save and quick load okay they, they're just like yeah go ahead okay. do it however you want but i mean dishonored one definitely a lot more finicky when it comes to itself some of it does definitely feel unfair there are some times where i can i'll be up on a ceiling or something and i'll stand up yeah or i'll crouch or i'll do something like completely non-conspicuous and then a guy will see me and i'm like what I didn't. I'm, I'm definitely out of your cone of vision because yes. I'm above you, but 
Yeah, or like, uh, like uh, I feel like I'm a pixel off on where I put a body. Or um, I, I was doing yeah. the, doing the one I did this like seven times, maybe eight, possibly twenty, uh, where the guy is in. This must be the overseer one. When he's in the room and you can poison him, uh, and you mm-hmm. choose whether to. And I like, you know, had some maybe had some bodies laying around the hallway, and was like, okay. Uh, reload. I'll move this body over here. Okay, it's fine yeah. on this run, and it's not fine on this run. Or like he spots it on this yeah. one, and then you know, just just weird stealth stuff that made me not feel like the badass I think I was supposed to feel like, and maybe feel like mm. the yeah. clumsiest super spy uh, in the world. But I I am making a, a genuine effort this time. I will try and keep going. Um, it's fun to have those games on Game Pass yeah. now. Uh, the big game I spent the most time playing is Evil Genius 2 uh, for this week. Uh, Evil Genius 2, the follow-up to Evil Genius. Uh, for those that don't know, it is a game in which you play as this kind of um, cartoonish villain uh, that is setting up their kind of 60s style, 1960s style uh, Bond-ish uh, base. Uh, and again, you're the villain. And, um, you know, it's all the inner workings of, um, you know, the kind of Austin Powers-ish bureaucratic evil villain stuff of like, hey, Mm -hmm. you need barracks and you need this room for researching, um, you know, science and you need this other room for, you know, where are people going to eat? Where are they going to train? Where are you going to train all these villains? So uh, you're building your base and then on the other side of that, um, super agents will come and invade your base and you kind of have this whole layer. So the game is basically two things. One is this base building tower defense kind of thing where you're building traps for people who invade your base and you're trying to get all the mechanics of your base figured out by carving out parts of this mountain if you choose that map. Uh, and then the other side is this tactical map where uh, I feel like the game really slows down in which you're sending workers and minions and stuff to accomplish these tasks by just clicking on either a thing to generate money, which then generates overall heat, which is kind of like if the heat gets too high, you're going to get invaded, or you're sending them on missions to lower the heat. Uh, and that pretty quickly gets very monotonous and not that much fun as you kind of bounce into that map, click on a couple of things, and then kind of jump back in until they say, this thing's completed, and then you jump back out and kind of click on a thing or two again. Um, also, the game, when I was playing it, and I don't think I'm very good at it, but I have put about 15 hours into it so far, feels like it is boom or bust for me. I am either doing super well and my vault is full of gold bars, or I am scraping the bottom and everybody on my base has been wiped out by some uh, attack that I need to go and reload a save and then, then kind of plan for that att- that particular attack to come. Uh, like, oh, they came from here. I didn't have a bunch of traps here. I guess I'm completely wiped out. I'm going to go back, reload, set up all these traps in their way. Uh, and then hopefully uh, make it through. So that being said, I think the game is better than average, not great, but I am I am kind of enjoying it. I do I think the tech tree moves very quickly in the beginning and then slows down. Uh, and in the excuse me, in the narrative part, in the kind of hey, I'm playing uh, the story bits. They gate you by story on what you can do on the tech tree, and so I'm at this wall where it's like, well man, the story part's going super slowly. I really wish I could get these other things on the tech tree. It would make this go so much faster. But they're like, no, you need to progress in the story more. So there is a sandbox mode that I think kind of ameliorates a lot of that stuff and and kind of gets rid of a lot of those annoyances. Uh, And I haven't messed with that yet. Uh, I should, and I I will before we record something with it. Because I think it removes a lot of those nitpicks from it. But you know, that's not the story mode, and that's not the building the giant laser that will turn everything into gold mode. Uh, you can pick a couple of different villains. Uh, I've mostly been working with the Dr. Evil knockoff uh, villain that is kind of the standard campaign one. Uh, it's Evil Genius 2. I think it just released this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Original I'm- or Evil Genius is from, like the aughts right like that's from like mid 2000s yeah i think so it must have been post austin powers because it's so dr evil it is uh was it was it always rebellion who was doing it or did they buy it i'm not sure this one definitely is rebellion uh but yeah i'm not sure um i mean i don't think it feels more referential to austin powers than it does to james bond 
So uh, right. When did Austin Powers come out? Is that is that ninety nine? Oh, okay. ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. last one was like two thousand and three. Okay, that sounds yeah. right. With Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She would never oh. do that now. She would never do that now. Yeah, you're um, right. <laughs> um. <laughs> So yeah, it, it's fun. Uh, the the other thing, um, I kind of bounced around a little bit on. Uh, well, actually, I think I talked about that last week already. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. All again. right, all uh, right. Yeah, Alex. Yes. What you been up to? Uh, let's see. So I finally made it to the final chapter in uh, uh, Fights in Tight Spaces. Good for I- you. I, I have it saved there to go and do the, that last series of fights. And so hopefully when I am back from my vaccination, I will not be so bleary brained that I am not able to continue to fight because if I lost in the middle of this, I would be very sad. Uh, it's been a long run. Um, I started Mundon over on PC because I was playing that game on PS5 and it felt chuggy in a mm. way that I wasn't sure if it was the game or was just, uh, you know, the way it was supposed to be. And then I started playing it on Epic Game Store and that's the ga- that's not how the game's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be quite that chuggy. So I'm now playing it on PC and it's very smooth. It's very nice. So playing some more of that. Uh, I also, Narita Boy came yes. out this week. Um, Speaking of style. I yeah, I kickstarted that game a couple of years ago, I'm going to say. I don't remember when I kickstart things until it, they show up in my inbox eventually. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, they had a really good like previs sort of pitch of like, hey, here is this sort of side-scrolling action game that takes place in a universe that is a little bit like a cross between Tron and I'm, I'm stealing this from someone in the comments from our quick look, uh, like a little bit of like a Jodorowsky kind of like metaphysical weirdness thing going on so you get sucked into the computer you have to save the memories of the guy who created the computer or the operating system or something (laughs) that has been taken over by a corrupt i'm just gonna say warlock that lives in the computer uh that's the best i got for it um and the whole game is very heavy into like 80s vaporwave cyber vibes and also just kind of bogging you down and I, I don't mean bogging down in like it's it's tedious or annoying it's just really in love with non-stop references to the religious nature of the technology in the computer there's nothing there's all these priests and these you know deities and creatures that live in the computer and they all you know they all pray to this thing called the trichroma which is these three different colors of light that all do different things and it's it's it has so much of it that it's actually it, it loops around from being tedious back to charming like they 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 just can't stop throwing that shit at you and then in between all of that it's an action game where you have a techno sword and you stab bad computer programs and <laughs> that part is not overly deep or challenging but it's good enough and there's a lot of just really good visual art and again vibes in that game that uh i am very into like about i'd say probably about like three hours into it at this point and there's a quick look up on the site if you want to check it out i liked what i saw of it that seemed very cool it's very cool um anything else alex that's pretty much been it this week jake what you been up to over there hello uh i've been playing a lot of the disco elysium final cut on ps5 i originally played it on pc and i loved it uh the ps5 version isn't great so far why, uh, why, very do you, buggy. why do you say it's that? it's buggy not having a mouse and keyboard is is mm. kind of an issue just because you know you're interacting with the environment when you have a mouse and keyboard you're highlighting different objects and your character is walking to it uh, i do like having direct control with the control stick but like you kind of just use the right stick to focus on different things and it just feels a little weird but i think the bigger issue is that right now it's just kind of buggy <laughs> like the one thing that they've been uh hyping people up about is that the full thing is voice, but I've had a lot of characters just not read out their lines or I've had text disappear. All that being said, like I still really like the game. It's excellent. It's one of my favorites from 2019, but yeah, it's a little disappointing. Uh, Lucy, you've been playing it as well. Yeah. uh, Same boat. It's kind of, yeah, it is buggy. I haven't had the one where like tech uh, voice acting disappears. I've had one where sometimes I'll just get a random bit of static 
Oh. And someone weird. someone will be talking, and in the background you can hear static, but it's just for one line, so yeah. it's not even supposed to be the oh, sustained weird. thing. And that's on My, PlayStation as well? Uh, that was the PS5 version. Okay. And the, the, the biggest issue that I had, but I was playing it before they patched it, I played it on release day and they patched it yesterday. So I'm not sure if this stuff's been fixed yet, but I couldn't progress past, you know, your lizard brain is waking you up. And that's the first mm. bit of text that you see. <laughs> and the continue wouldn't appear for me. Oh, and so kind of need that. Sort of need that. And I thought it was me just being stupid. And I was like mashing all the buttons on the controller. I was quitting out and then checking the start menu to make sure I was hitting the right things and it just turns out that it was just a bug and I had to restart it I think three times before Aye. I could get past that but then I did yeah I saw a bunch of people complaining about it chugging a little bit and not necessarily hitting 60 frames I haven't had any of that it's okay. just been the the control scheme yeah doing it with a mouse and keyboard is so much better easier but the way that they've mapped stuff to the right stick definitely takes some getting used to and it's a bit finicky on what it decides to let you highlight mm -hmm. um but otherwise it's like it's such a fantastic game it's, like jake said one of my favorites of 2019 and the voice acting is so good and adds so much yeah but if you're playing that on a big screen the text needs to be bigger you can mm -hmm. increase it but it's not big enough it's not big enough oh right yeah. right right okay yes I, I didn't even realize I, that right coming to consoles yes I've been playing as like a cop with zero stats. Like I just set everything to one. So I am just an absolute nightmare in that game. Like <laughs> I walk out, I try to run away from the guy at the beginning who's telling you owe money and I just run out and die because I trip and just the shot kills my character and I reload, try to get my tie, die. Like just, it, it is an absolute disaster, but it's so funny. Some of the stuff that you can see if you're willing to play like that, I probably don't recommend it because <laughs> there's a lot of reloading, but uh, it's funny. Like- the body in the back that you're supposed to investigate. Mm -hmm. I can't even get close to it because I just throw up every time. I just don't have the willpower to get close to it. And my partner's just like, yeah, let's uh, come back later maybe. And I'm like, there's no later. If I can't get here, this is it. Our investigation's over. I do like the idea of playing that game as a hard drinking Mr. Bean. Just a dude constantly <laughs> yep. tripping over yep. himself and vomiting nonstop. <laughs> so Pretty did, much what I'm doing. Did they, um, did they re-record lines of dialogue for, for the lines that were already in there? Or are they, is it, is, did they keep original stuff, or I think they it... kept the stuff that was already there. Well, except for Kuno, they replaced Kuno. Oh, oh yeah. well, Kuno sucks. Well, I... Kuno yeah. here. <laughs> That's gone. That's uh, totally gone. Wait, I'm really? I'm sad about that one. Yeah, I have. I I spent. I did. I exhausted. Wait, what does his... Kuno sound like now? It's just like hello. He's, st he's still Liverpudlian, but okay. he doesn't say Kuno here. Oh my gosh, I hate Kuno so much. No offense oh. to the original voice actor. But holy cow. I, I mean, really, you're supposed to hate him. Yeah, that's the thing. He, really, did a good job. <laughs> he really nailed that little shithead. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. It was one of the places where I when I was first playing, I was like, I don't think I I don't think I could go through this. This <laughs> this, this this kid sucks so much. This is the worst. Uh and then uh uh it was Kuno's friend uh was also uh, now that the whole experience yeah. there is uh I Weird. feel like yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird one, um, but also I feel like that's like the point in the game. I was like, okay, I think I see what you're going for here. Like, I, I right. you know, w w once you kind of engage with it a little bit, and um, I, I never finished it. I got a decent amount in, uh, and this is making me want to go back into it. Uh, but I, at first, I played it and I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Uh, there's there's stuff in here I don't know, and then. After I got through some of that stuff, I was like, okay, I think I see what you're doing here. I think I see where we're going with this. Actually, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm enjoying what's going on here. Um, I I think at first I thought, this is way too far up its own butt. It's never going to be able to see the light of day. But then I, I think it actually pulls some of it off and, and kind of mm -hmm. makes good on uh, its its nature. I can't remember where I left off. Um I did the part with the freezer. I did the part in the warehouses. I don't know. I did go you go over the bridge? I did. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure how far I got though. I don't. I don't want to spoil anything. But uh, yeah, mm. I, I did get past some of that stuff. You know, and it you know it appeals to the adventure game um, addict in me on in a decent amount of ways because I like multiple paths through stuff, and I think they do it <laughs> without it being the 
find the great, punch the guy, mm-hmm. or you know, uh, pay the pay the pay your way through, right? Like do it sneakily, do it with um, because you have a lot of money, or and and they do it with consequence that I think seems to, or at least seems to matter, uh, mm-hmm. it, it, or has that vibe that it matters. I don't know if everything filters back. Since having only played it, uh, you know, some of it once, I don't know if everything, everything filters back in that kind of funnel back to, okay, it really doesn't matter what you pick and you're, you're going to make it. I mean, you guys can probably tell me, um, does it matter what you pick? Like, will you get multiple um, consequences for your actions? Yeah, I, so I've only played through it once. Uh, I was going to play it again, but then they announced the uh, final cut, so I decided to wait. So I've only seen one ending, but it seems like there's a lot there. But I know mm-hmm. one of the bigger criticisms was that your political alignment that you kind of forge throughout your adventure doesn't really factor into the story as much as people hoped. And okay. I think with the final cut, they are addressing that, which is something I'm curious about because I think the political side of it was pretty interesting, uh, at least mm-hmm. to some extent, like, you know, you get an achievement for being like the most pathetic, uh, <laughs> like communist or the, or the, or the like the, the yeah. I forgot, like middle of the fence or whatever. Oh, I got, get. I got one that was basically condemning me for being a centrist. Yeah, like, yeah. Was, there's some like good stuff around there, but in, they never really followed through on that in the original. Mm. Um, that being said though, like the ending I got seems pretty different from what other people got initially, okay. but yeah. I'm curious well, they, to see what they do with this, though. Well, they have political vision quests now. Yeah. <laughs> so I, when I when I got my code, PR actually sent over a thing. It was like they're actually missable. You have to have unlocked a specific thought in your thought cabinet. You know, one for yeah. each political alignment. Huh. And so that's something to bear in mind because I am more interested to see how that plays in to the wider story, and especially if it's a new quest. I'm, I was interested to see what they've done there because I saw some of the B-roll. The phrase I... political vision quest <laughs> yeah. puts stress on me <laughs> in a way that I can scarcely describe. It's it's just really ringing me out. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if I want that. It's so what my uncle's posting on Facebook and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are, are all the um, fever dream. Are all the inner monologues uh voice now? I, I haven't played yeah. it played it yet. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. does it break really any of it and be like, that's not the right voice? Like if you've played it before and be like, that's not what that should sound like. I, I not yet, but okay. one thing that Lucy actually pointed out the other day, I mean, you could probably talk to it better, but a lot of like the description of things, like if someone says, how are you doing? But they like take a drag of their cigarette that there's no narrator for that. So that kind of gets missed a little okay. bit unless you read, you know, but there's no VO for that. Yeah. I, I I'm having a hard time remembering what had, like bark lines or, or little like intro line, like who spoke? Uh, Cause I, I'm hearing the voices mm-hmm. in my head, uh, but I can't tell if that's my like inner voice for each uh, character or thing or who was actually voiced in the game. So curious to go back and, and see, maybe I'll, before I update it on my PC, I'll try and uh, turn off the updates, launch into it real quick to refresh my memory and then uh, update. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty big patch. I think if you're on the PC, I, I want to say I saw mm-hmm. like uh, about the size of the original game is being added in, and in, in stuff but that's exciting uh jake anything else yeah i've also been playing a game called project winter also another game pass game uh it is i've been describing it as among us but with mechanics not to dig among us wow. it seems like people really like Sick that burn. game but uh <laughs> but like this is like a survival game that's built around the whole idea of having someone as a traitor um okay. i don't know if you guys have played it or heard of it at all i've heard oh, of it it's it, it's pretty good it's it, you need like a full group of people you need at least six people for it to really work but basically two people are traders the rest of the people are just trying to complete some basic objectives but there's some basic survival stuff like you need to eat you need to uh stay warm because it takes place in winter as the name implies Mm -hmm. um and it's a lot of fun like you especially when you're a trader because there's a lot you can do to mess with other people like you can set up traps outside of objectives whether that be landmines, bear traps, uh, you can get, there's like guns you can get. The shooting isn't great, but I think that's kind of on purpose to keep it balanced. Uh, but it, it's fun. I highly recommend it if you've got a group of people, Game Pass, it's free. Um, Project Winter. Project Winter, yeah. Cool. Okay. How many people in a match at a time? You can do up to eight. You can also okay. like have people join you online. It's cross play too, but like, I don't know. I 
played a little bit with randoms online and it was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't need like to hear way. people saying oh, sus over and over and over again. Look at oh. Jake flexing that he's got eight, eight, seven, Honestly, other, seven other friends to bring in. I see. Okay. <laughs> That's oh, all okay. people are saying over random voice chat. You're actually <laughs> well, probably it gets like, worse, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but no, that's been the hardest thing about this game, though, is just coordinating people to play. Because mm-hmm. like you get six, and then last minute someone dips, and it's like, well, sorry everyone, uh, none tonight. <laughs> Wait, so do you do you have to have a full eight? Uh, no, you can do with you. Technically, you can do it with five. But if okay. you do with five, you, there's only one trader, and it just feels pretty stacked against the traders. Okay. So if you do six, there are two traders. But anything under five, you can't even start a game. At least as far as I know, I've only done like the basic mode, which there's no roles or anything like if you play the more advanced mode there's like a detective who can like check out bodies to maybe pick up clues there's a soldier who has access to like weapons bunkers it's a it's a good time it's a good time jake anything else that's it for me lucy so anything else anything else going on uh, so Disco Elysium, mm-hmm. uh, but i only played a couple hours of it the other day uh, i have been really enjoying it takes two okay which is Oh, I, I'm playing with a friend of mine um, who we usually play Overwatch together. So very used to calling out calls because there's no uh, ping system or anything. You have to talk to. Yeah, to there talk. should be. There should be a ping system. But I mean, I, I guess I see why they've done it to really promote you talking. Hey, real marriage doesn't have a ping system. But what if it did? Uh, it actually does. I, I really think it does. Yeah, sure. You, think, you get that with the license. It uh, it comes. It's just um, you just yeah. weird. Yeah, you, maybe if you're married by like a Unitarian or something. Yeah, <laughs> you just point to things and they light up and uh, it's, 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 it's salt here. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird. So I have, I have a question. I have a mm. question. So you you're playing it uh, online, right? Yeah. Um, that's like the biggest thing for me is I kind of wish I saw more of the screen. I'm I'm doing like the the couch co op thing with my wife. And oh well, you. I mean, you still get the um, the side by side. You do. Yeah. Yeah, that's permanent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well then, <laughs> this changes nothing for me. <laughs> uh, I think a way out was the same way. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I just like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just I can't. I can't not. I guess you're supposed to look at their screen, of course, because mm-hmm. it's sort of like, but where the ping system would come uh, in really handy. So it's like if I'm looking at your screen, well then yeah, let me do a pay, like. What are we doing here? Right? So it's, it's not, not like well, it's not a game that you could play without voice chat then, right? It is what I'm hearing. You have, you have, to. You you have, have to. to talk. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. there's there's some stuff where you have to count down or jump at the same time. There's a really I mean, I'm playing with a friend of mine who's in London mm-hmm. and we were getting some lag. And then, yeah. you know, EA servers completely died the other day um while we were playing, and it was really difficult because there's a there's a bit in, I think it's the shed where it's all of the vacuum stuff. And there's this little sequence where there are three vents and the person outside hits a switch and each vent, you know, spite spouts air up. That took us, I'm not even kidding, about five, ten minutes because we were getting lag. But also it's mm. the communication stuff of trying to nail like when you're gonna jump. And so you can try and look at the other person's screen, right. but it doesn't work for every single thing every single encounter yeah there was one i saw um with alex i think you and brad did it where you had to hit buttons to turn fans off that sounds mm-hmm. like it would be a timing nightmare if you mm-hmm. um if you tried it's to a do lot it. of like appliance based horror it's just yeah. really <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. that's like a that's like a like what like a third of a relationship right of, of just like nails falling out of the sky for no good reason yeah. that bit sucked i did not like i did not care Hard. for those nails R- difficulty ramps up in yeah. a huge way on that level and <laughs> I mean, it did tear us apart uh, temporarily. But like, did Dr. We... Hakeem bring you together Is again? No, book? in fact, that further enraged us. <laughs> Dr. And... Hakeem can go fuck himself, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I like, what? Why does he think it's so funny what he does? Like, he thinks he's so cool. <laughs> it's so dumb. I mean, it's a, it's he's so a dumb. talking he comes book. Down, he doesn't like, have a lot. He's like, you yeah. fucking love me. And everyone's like, no, go home. He's uh, terrible. He just I mean, doesn't uh, have a lot going on. I yeah. think that's my fundamental issue with this game, which is not. No, it, it can't it's, just be it's, that butthead. Well, no, it's not just that butthead, but I, it's the thing is like it is so much better of a co-op game than a way out was like the design mm. of it and just the challenges of it. Like everything is just much more thoughtfully designed. It looks a lot better. It's just a much more enjoyable game, but it still has this 
weird storytelling notion where it thinks everything it's doing is really funny and really original but it's super not like and that's where it's kind of driving me up the wall it's like Joseph Harris thought he had invented the buddy, you know, prison escape thing in in a way out. And here it feels like he's, he, th- he thought he had finally captured the spirit of like, you know, a, a, a big 3D animated tentpole movie. But like, no, the jokes are not there. Like the characters are not there. There's weird. It's weird. Like it's the vibes are strange. Like the the, the way the tone shifts from level to level is bizarre in kind of an inventive way but i just don't like anyone in it i don't uh, like any yeah, of the i don't people. like anyone in it either yeah. but i still think it's super fun it's well I, designed yeah. like it's yeah. a really well designed game it's funny you mentioned the tone shift because it's all quite airy fairy for a while you know there's this bickering couple and then the tone completely changes to you purposefully trying to make your daughter cry mm-hmm. <laughs> And there is a bit with an elephant. Oh, I know about the elephant bit. I am, I'm not going to spoil it in case people w- want to play it. But I was, you know, it, you know, it's part of the game. You have to do this um, thing. And the whole time I'm just going, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel mm. good about it. I don't, mm, don't feel good about this at all. Because it, it's done in such a weirdly harrowing way that it's such a departure from the rest of it. Which is, I think the level you're in is like your kid's bedroom, which is all toys and blocks and you know everyone's cute and fairy princesses and then you get this bit with the elephant it's like oh my god but i'm overall i'm really enjoying it but it has highlighted a real issue with me that's uh definitely become more pronounced during quarantine and that my brain is too foggy mm. like I, I i you know i am an exceptionally depressed person um and I suffer from brain fog quite a lot. And I just, I can't think of words sometimes. And there actually, we clipped this and tweeted it out, but there's this section where you're on rails and I was the character on rails. Simon, my friend had to hit specific buttons right. to yes, lift I panels. Yeah. And I just can't remember <laughs> basic farmyard animals. And that has become a real, you know, if anything that I've taken from this experience is, you know, I'm having a nice time with my friend, but it's also, God, this has wrecked me as a person mm. this year. Like, I just have no, I, it's, it's struggle. I mean, earlier when we were talking about Dishonored, Dishonored is a game I've played multiple times and I played it a week ago and you were like, what, you Vinny said, where, where are you in the game? And I just couldn't think of it. And so ping system for it takes two would be great <laughs> <laughs> instead of done. having to say the the, the, the fuzzy thing that yes. eats grass right the uh, well, yeah. right. it was a mouse and i called it a beaver because okay that was the only thing i could think of <laughs> the brain the brain is a wondrous and 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 uh miraculous thing uh, i also yeah. uh cannot often think of things especially quickly so if you had asked me yeah. what i was up to in dishonored uh, again, I'm up to the part where I poison a guy only because I remember having to poison him like three times. I couldn't tell you anything else. Um, I am I am want to play It Takes Two. Uh, I don't know if I want to play that with my kids. As the co-op person, oh. it's... See, it also think... ramps up in difficulty quite Oh, really? So okay. fast. Oh yeah, my like gosh. surprisingly so, so. Okay. I, I mean, at this... Yeah, I... It's you know I I get very easily and, and irrationally uh, frustrated when I play a game with someone who like literally has never done a, a, a right stick camera and I'm just like fuck's wrong with you yeah I'm just, I'm just very bad of me to do uh. this and and I and I get frustrated playing with my wife it's also more funny than it is frustrating because it's just like watching her jump off into oblivion over and over again it's pretty good but I at one point was just sort of like. I don't know if we could play this game. Like, it's not your fault. How you've, I've played games for 35 years. You've, yeah. you didn't, yeah. you, you should, you know, it's not easy to just like pick it. And like you said, Lucy, difficulty spikes in such a quick way. Mm-hmm. And man, you just go off the, the rails real quick. And it's just like, I don't know if this game's going to get done this way. And then I'm like, looking, oh, you know, I'm thinking like, do I get my kid to fill in? And, and then I'm like, oh, maybe I don't. I- 
I cannot recommend against enough anyone <laughs> playing this game with a child that is of an age that is at all perceptive because yeah. they are going to probably think, are you, dad, are you trying to tell me something? Just play Daddy, the game. Tell me something about what's happening with you and mommy. You just, have yeah. to get, you just have to get to the end of this game. Just, you'll get to it. It'll make sense. It's I don't, fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Has anybody finished it yet? I, I still, um, I still don't know what happens at the end. So don't spoil it, anybody. But I haven't I, finished it okay, yet. I, I, I'm in the, I'm in the last, uh, the last bit. Okay. It, it's also way longer longer than you think it is okay oh really about yeah 10 12 hours wow is it even more Ooh, that is yeah. that is that's longer. gonna take more than two i think <laughs> <laughs> well, i mean that's the thing when um well, I, I was in the preview event because i was playing it, as a couch co-op game it was very strange they they gave out this preview code and obviously i live with greg and so we were like oh this is an easy collab here we could just play in the living room and you know, that first hour, we were like, yeah, this is, you know, you could give this to someone who wasn't a gamer. And then we got to the boss fight, I'm like, oh, no, no, you can't. And so they, yeah. they do a thing where they make it very easy for the other person to quickly spawn back, uh, you know, just mash yeah. triangles. But you can still both die. You can both die. Yes. Oh, okay. And sometimes those checkpoints are not very forgiving. Mm -hmm. that nail hellscape fucking level. That nail. Woo. The nail that, bit. This this is a weird question, but does does it do any weird things with like the split screen? Because that was the only thing I remember from a way out was like, oh, they like are changing the angle of the it's, split. Sometimes and they do general, like right? side scrolling, like yeah. horizontal. Yeah, one side gets vertical. more of the screen or the mm -hmm. other. Okay. They don't really do much with like weird angles or camera work. I can okay. only really remember doing one where it's a horizontal split, uh, and everything else is yeah. Sometimes sometimes you'll be both on the same. I um for boss fights. My kids really want to keep playing Super Mario World um with me and that's a game that um we're up to a point where we just need to get stars to progress, you know, like and we're, <laughs> we're pretty deep in so we're we're on like hey okay, most of these levels already have three stars now we got to do the hard ones. Um you know, we're on like the 18th world or whatever cuz that game just keeps going on forever. Um but they just want to play cuz they like having fun. And um I want to play because I want to get the stars, and it is <laughs> such a tough thing. And they know it now uh, because yeah. I've been explicit with them. That's like, hey, hey, we want to play. We just want you. To, we just want to play with you, Dad. Like, we just want you to come and play. I'm like, okay, I'll give you a half hour. Uh, come I, play with us, yeah. Daddy. <laughs> like, oh I'll wait, give, I'll give you a I half hour. Ah, oh nice. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a half hour, and then we'll reevaluate if we're having fun or not. Uh, uh, <laughs> after that half hour, uh, and we'll see how it's going. And like, okay, fair enough, Dad. Have we uh, have we met the fun quota? Yeah, exactly. Uh, because exactly. because it gets really frustrating. Like you know, it's yeah. it's a point where you're like, you know, oh, you're you're not. You got to keep up. You got to keep up. You got to keep up. You're moving the camera off the screen, or like, uh, why'd you bubble? Why'd you go into the bubble? You were the last one there. Or, Don't jump yet. We got to get all oh, the red. Oh. Or those those levels where that you jump and the platforms flip over. I don't know if you guys remember those. And it's like, okay, everybody just get into a bubble. I'm just gonna get through oh. this part. Don't get in front of me uh, if you can. And then, you know, it's like, you know, after a half hour, it's like, all right, listen, are we having fun or not? Do we want to keep? <laughs> do we want to keep you guys going? Are all bloody. Um, mm -hmm. Like no evaluation. I, I think Kids we're going to we're going to play something else. Dad, thanks for your time. But thanks for the stars. So it's more. It's it's not so much the stars. It's the. Uh, it's just like the. You know, infighting that's going the on. The wrangling. They they will sit there and do the same levels over yeah. again and just have God a good time him. in the cat costumes and just be like, I miss a star. I tell everyone to jump in a hole. Everybody jump in a right. hole. We're doing a level again because kill why, yourself. I said, why else are we doing this? We need the stars. And I'm like, okay, Dad. Everybody jump in the hole. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's a weird thing. It's hard to get out of that like game yeah. mode of like why are we why are we playing this if not just to get the yeah. stars to open up the next door because it's right. fun dad what no well, no no they, no they'll, i got I six more games i gotta get to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like it takes a long time it takes decades to realize what you know like to maybe have a different uh feeling about the thing like i'm having fun just doing the thing i'm having fun moving around in the menu right like, <laughs> right yeah right and right. then it's you figure it out but i one of the Mario games lets you cash in coins for stars, right? Is it Odyssey? Odyssey, I think. You can buy moons. Kind oh, of. you can buy moons. Yeah. yeah. Or bits. Yeah. I always bother, but uh, even yeah. in Galaxy where it's like, come on, I got 58,000 coins. I can't get one star out of this. So I can move <laughs> on and play that other world. Like, what are we doing here? Um, Co-op games. They'll be the death of us all. Make, make coins worth something, right? 
Yes, like, like real bit bitcoins. That's yeah, it. Let me Just cash them out. Yeah, it. there we go. No, I, didn't, I didn't mean the bitcoin yeah, joke. This is your I NFT mean, thing again? Yeah, sure. No, okay. this what needs that. Like I, we finished. Uh, we were playing uh, Origami King. And it's like Mario's got like eighty three thousand coins. Yeah, and it's just they're wor- they're basically worthless. Like how go, m- you know you go get buy your- more spike That's the problem shoes. With fiat currency, man. Mm-hmm. You know it's it's wild to me. That game's fun though. Origami King. It's super fun. Uh, Lucy, anything else? I'm slowly working my way through a small indie game called The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Never heard of it. Sick. Um, because I never played it in twenty seventeen because that back then I had an attention span Mm -hmm. and it was too open for me and I didn't care for that because I was overwhelmed by choice but now I can barely focus on text Uh so thank god Disco Elysium has voice acting now (laughs) Um, and the openness is now appealing to me and also my partner is a very very big Zelda fan and he has been very excited and just it's it's a nice thing for us to play together and he's actually been very good Excuse me. Oh, uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, choking up. Breath of the Wild. Other Breath people have wild. cried at Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's not the only word. Yeah. Um, and so he's been very good at not telling me when I'm messing up too much. Okay. And he, he's been he's been very helpful because sometimes I'll just kind of go, eh, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here, and he's he's just there. He doesn't interject too much. So he doesn't he's... scream at you to, to jump in the hole uh, and, and kill yourself because no, you passed uh, something. Okay, that's probably... Yeah. That's, I could you probably missed, that's yeah. for the best. Yeah. You missed that Korok <laughs> secret. <laughs> that's right. Um, <laughs> but he... No, and so that's that's like the long-term thing that we've we've got going on. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm really bad. I'm also playing like Persona 5 Royal. Like okay. I, I'm just dipping into yeah. stuff, which is annoying because I want to finish things, but I just don't have the. I like that. That's the way. Finish at nothing, some point, try yeah. everything. That's yeah. what I say. It's the buffet it's the, style. It's the buffet. I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. The world this, buffet. That. And everybody always feels good when they come out of a buffet. So I yeah. actually want to. I, I do hope <laughs> buffets go away <laughs> no, after what? all this, but yeah. Definitely I no miss- regrets. It's just, that's what I'm going to name my after I retire and open a buffet called No Regrets B- Buffet. Uh, I because- think there's already <laughs> plenty of those called that, just not that deliberately. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the Treasure Island Buffet in Vegas. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Right? Oh, oh God. Sad. How come what, what, we were at, you, you've been to CES a, few, a bunch, right, Lucy? Like Just, we just at, the once when the I once? was with uh, you and Michael and Peter. R- oh. That's why I said Peter weird there. Peter. Oh. Peter. Uh, Peter Brown. Did, Peter. You didn't go to a, a buffet while you were out there, right? Or did you? Uh, not that time, but I go to Vegas um, every summer after E3, and we oh. always hit a buffet. Mm. Uh, oh. On purpose? Yeah, it's because it's it's just friends from the UK, and we just okay. splurge. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, that's fair. I mean, like one year we went just because Nine Inch Nails were playing. So at the yeah. buffet, oh, you know, that's actually a, that might actually get me to go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, if I was and in it, LA. that might do it. Honestly, to- they brought out Gary Newman, and they okay. did uh, they did metal together, and I just died. So yeah, oh, you convinced okay. me. I would go wow. to that. Yeah. You didn't think you were going to pull that card for the reason to go to the buffet, but hey, <laughs> I I always have it. a Trent Reznor trap card. I don't know if I feel good about this or not. It's weird. Like, so Trent Reznor's playing a Vegas buffet, like... Oh, no, he wasn't playing a buffet, but I had a buffet buffet. that day. What the hell does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, Basically, it's the same thing. Like, I don't know if I feel bad for Trent. Like, is that where we're at? Where Nine Inch Nails is like, oh, my gosh. What are we doing today? Just wheel me in front of whatever I have to do. Wheel me? (laughs) me? (laughs) Just, he's like, I assume he rolls it. He's He's actually in pretty good shape. I know. I'm I'm assuming he had, like, a late night the night before. He's like, he he comes in there, and they're like, oh, where am I doing? Yeah, put me in front of the shrimp, like, the unlimited shrimp thing and just like oh <laughs> the head like oh he, actually, he oh, seems no, like no, he has his are, shit together most than more than just about any other rock star from that era he seems um, like he's all right he's got he's like oscars his, and shit like he's, he, he's he just needs a tony and then he's got the ego yeah, right there you go yeah, i think so yeah yeah don't what worry about trent reznor dude wait so trent, the downward spiral the musical coming yeah, next year yeah what did he win an oscar for <laughs> I th- one of the Soul. David Fincher movies, right? Yeah. It was Social, Social Network. Soul and Social Network. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Him and Atticus Ross. Don't. Yeah, Don't forget that. Right, right. Respect, respect on Atticus's Atticus name. Respect. I'm not respect. trying to disrespect Trent Reznor. I actually sounds I, like you are. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a big, uh, big Trent fan. But I saw it's He's, one of the few bands. Sounds like I you saw got a head like a hole over there. I do. Well, that's <laughs> that's not Trent's fault. Um, yeah. People. 
I, br- I brought that up because people, when I would go to CES uh, every year, there's like a whole CNET crew who's like, we got to do the Borgata. Not the Borgata. That's uh, Atlantic City. We got to do, you know, uh, the Wind Buffet or whatever the fuck. And oh, I just yeah. I just remember being like, no, we do not we need to do that. Do no. It's like $73.50. And it's then expensive. you get there and you see like what resembles a pyramid of crab legs. And you're just like, I'm in the middle of the fucking desert. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What's going on? It's right. a <laughs> very upsetting scene. Land crabs. Yeah, what? that's right. They're just scorpions. <laughs> just, you know, they just rip them off. Yeah. Alex, did you know the? Remember the Cliff House? Oh, you guys, you guys are still in. I remember yeah, the Cliff House. Yeah. Oh, I think it's gone. It, now. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It, it is, gone. is gone. That is yeah. so sad. I really speaking of buffets that are uh, <laughs> pretty extravagant. Uh, it's, it's the only place I think I've ever seen somebody play a harp for real. Uh, oh. Was that, that the Cliff House? Clip, Clip House. Cliff House. You don't see harps that much. You, you don't. don't you really don't. You really do. It's not. not a very transportable instrument. No. 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 Um, but that place was. <laughs> that place had a great buffet. Um, and what are they called? Popovers? Is that what they call them? The, the Oh, Yorkshire thing. pudding. It, sure. If that's what you, yeah, I assume we're talking about I the same thing. It's like it's pancake batter mix, crepe mix, and you put it in a tin and, and it, it kind like of falls pops. over itself and yeah. yeah, and it's delicious. That's Yorkshire oh, yeah. pudding? Yeah. Wait, it's pudding like a bread? No, you have it with a, a Sunday roast. Oh, so you dip where it. You, uh, no, I mean usually what we would do is you you get it on the plate and you pour gravy in the middle uh, of it. Oh but so I'm I'm from the northeast and what used to what they used to do my mom did for a long time is you would make a Yorkshire pudding or a popover the size of a dinner plate. <laughs> then you would put everything in it uh-huh. and oh, put shit. all the gravy in it, and that was an elite oh, tier oh, shit. meal. Yeah. Oh, that's... Shit. So we did that, and then you fold it over and you call it a calzone. Uh, and then you that's you just put a little cheese in there and uh, that's, or that's a taco that's a burrito that's, 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 that's that you're getting real close to burrito territory just roll well, not roll really, it up it's more like um it is more like a pancake mix so it's, okay. it's kind of it doesn't harden okay so it's, but, a, it's well, a crepe it's a savory crepe yeah Ooh. but and you can have it you can put you know like golden syrup and ice cream in and you can have this little dessert with the roast oh no with the roast oh, okay <laughs> yeah. separately okay you tell it's it very... finds its way in there like, <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. you know um, really feeling it it's like uh oh, it's like an open like like an open meat pie kind of thing yeah well, in a don't way. say that don't say what? yeah that's it. i mean that's phrasing but that's, okay. that's a phrase that's a savory, you just savory, we do a lot of phrasing savory on this pies, show. savory pies is that what they call like it? a little savory better, yeah save, a little savory pie. number yeah I'll have the open meat pie, please. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. You th- All right. Speaking of savory, Jeff Bacalar, how's it going? No, it's okay. going well. Speaking I, of, I, speaking I, of I'm, saving, I think I'm hungry. I think uh, I'm speaking hungry. of open face gravy, That's Jeff right. Bacalar, what's going <laughs> on? Speaking of oh, meat pie, shit. Bacalar, what's up? What you been up to? Uh, I've just been playing uh, It Takes Two, uh, as as we mentioned. But I would like um, a, a call for help here. If I could just use my time uh, to be productive with uh, helping my friends out uh, play a new game. We've been playing Warzone slash Call of Duty for mm-hmm. about a year, and we need a new game. And I would really like it if 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 the four of you and the the greater listening audience could help us rediscover a thing. Now, I need to put in a couple caveats here. Mm-hmm. The people I play with roughly four to eight people Mm -hmm. um they are not very open in terms of expanding their horizons Mm -hmm. they like uh action and they like shooty stuff Mm -hmm. uh any major sort of deviation off that might be catastrophic Okay. I would love to play some fucking art house shit with them. It's just not going to happen. Project Winter. Well, there aren't a lot of eight player <laughs> yeah. art house games if we're being completely yeah. honest here. Well, let's be honest because I really want to play something new with these uh with these dum dums. So, um if you got a suggestion, throw it out there. Have you considered a truck simulator game with the multiplayer mod turned on? I just don't know if that's going to be the one that gets us out of the of the multiplayer mold. Okay, I'm out um, of ideas then. But, Overwatch. Uh, See, that's not a bad one. I, Overwatch is not a bad one. I know one of them used to play Overwatch. I know he's bounced off it, and I also think that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh, I even Overwatch is like such a departure. Destiny for some of these. too. Really? Yeah. Des- yeah, yeah. I mean, Outrider. Me? Well, maybe. Uh, is Outrider? Think, Outrider is multi-platform, yeah. And it's cross-platform too. It's, it's three cross- people yeah. though, right? Three. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think. 
-hmm. See, again, too many rules. I get too it. Many rules. Okay. Uh, I, I know this equation has too many restrictions. I, I apologize for No, it. this is like a Let Sherlock esque so conundrum. I, I will say, yeah. I have you're friends. You're going to say Project Winter? Is well, that what you're gonna... I was going to say Project Winter, but I have friends who are very similar to that. Like, I yeah. tried to get them to play Overwatch and they absolutely hated it. And they were like, no, we're back to Call of Duty Battlefield. Mm. And yeah. that was it. Like, no matter how hard. I convinced them. Didn't matter. But I did convince them to do Project Winter. Mm -hmm. There was some growing pains. They weren't happy about it at first. But once we got going and they understood what was happening, I think I would say a majority of them are enjoying it. Okay. Uh, that being said, the tutorial is 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 kind of much. Like it throws a lot at you and it doesn't do a great job of explaining. So that would be my biggest concern if you were going to toss that to your friends mm. and be like, prepare for this. Uh, no, I appreciate that's helpful. Backler, can uh, we um, can we sit and mull on this one and come back to it? Uh, of course, if, that's good the ideas? point. I don't need. Uh, yeah, I don't um, need the answer now. Because yeah. I want to go hit the first break so we can get into the news. Um, so Alex, we could talk about all the news you pulled before you have to go I, get vaccinated. I think I may just have to tell you what the news is uh, during the break. <laughs> fine. I, I mean, get he, out of here soon. You um, put it in the thing. We could yeah, read yeah, it. Yeah. You know, yeah. So we're gonna out. we're gonna take our first break here. Um, we'll be back in just a little bit. Stick around. I'm gonna play the music now. Now, stick around, folks. This week's show is brought to you again by Fabletics. Fabletics is on a mission here to represent every guy who wants to look and feel their best without breaking the bank. Alex and Jeff Bacala. Hey. Yes, Vinny. Fabletics keeps it simple. They cut the doo-doo, and they focus on what that's, counts. That's do what it says? Things. Well, talks, it says a different word, but, you know, listen, we're a family-friendly podcast. Talks about a doo-doo? the bull jive. They uh, cut the poo-poo. Uh, uh, and, uh, and they do focus on what counts and do those things better than anyone else. Wow. That's what I want to do. Cut the doo-doo. And do do the things better than anyone else. What do they do do, Vinny? What do they do do? They um they do athletics gear. They do like uh the gear for for getting out there and being active. And Bacalar, like you always say, right? You don't have you don't have to be active if you're wearing it, right? No, you don't. But you know, I you know, look, I maybe uh, maybe I rode a bike the other day. Whoa. Maybe I uh maybe I had uh some sweatpants on. Did you look good while you were doing it? There's really no way for That's me to know, point. but I felt like I looked good. And, uh, you know, perception's half the battle. It's like more than half the battle. Um, you can go to fabletics.com slash beastcast for access to a great deal. Get your first two pair of shorts for just $24 when you become a Fabletics Men's VIP member at checkout. That's all the styles, all the colors, no exclusions. It's a great deal because they know that once you try their gear, you'll be hooked. And Jeff and Alex, why should you become a Fabletics Men's VIP member? Please tell me. To get all the best activewear at the best prices and to get at least 20 to 50% off retail prices every time you shop. And also, you'll get free shipping on all orders over $49 and free returns and exchanges within 45 days. But I'm not done yet. You can, each month, choose to be billed $49.95 for a member credit. That means that you can use that credit up to any item or kit up to $80. Again, you get billed $49.95, you get to use it on something for $80. And that credit will expire after 12 months or a year. They're the same thing. You can choose to skip the month to pay nothing. There is no limit to how many times you can skip. Get free access with your VIP membership to their new workout app for an on-demand workout with a top trainer. That's Fabletics. Alex and Jeff, ready to get active? I am active. I'll get there. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Fabletics. Hi, hey, everybody, and we're back. And if you're listening to this, Alex Navarro is gone to uh, go get his vaccine, hopefully, his shot. So uh, it is just Lucy, Jake, Jeff Bacalar, and I here to read the stories that Alex Navarro has pulled for this podcast. 
And as we all scrambled to read them during the break, um, Jeff Ackler, what what have you what do you think Alex intended for this segment today? Well, there's no way for us to know that. Okay, so he's truly very secret. He's very secretive, and there's really no way for us to know which one he intended to do first. All I we know. can do, yeah. is look at the list of stories <laughs> and just go in the order in which they appear. That's true. Uh, so the first one he has here, it says, and again, yeah. these are written by <laughs> Alex Navarro, performed by the Bees cast at large. Okay, okay that's okay. Right. First one he has here is. Another big No Man's Sky update dropped. This is true, and he didn't just make that up. Um, there's this new patch coming for No Man's Sky Expeditions, I believe it is. Uh, mm -hmm. And according to the story that he linked, uh, this is going to put people on a planet, a starting planet, and have them, and it's going to be kind of seasonal, is what I can gather from this, uh, and have them try to get to a point in the galaxy uh, within that season. That's that's what I, That's what I got from it. That's the, the kind of, along with some other stuff, um, uh, updates coming along with this. No hey, Man's Sky, yes. What's up? It's, tr it's 2021. We're still talking about No Man's Sky. Congrats, that's No Man's the, Sky. That's the real story yeah. here, isn't it? That's isn't because that they the keep adding takeaway? stuff to it. Good for them. They keep doing it, right? They, they just keep doing it do it. 1.0 right? right around the corner. I'm kidding. The gift that keeps on giving. That, my friend, is quite a low blow, I might say. <laughs> that, um... <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I would like to get back into No Man's Sky at some point oh, if they ever stop. Maybe I'll wait for the the ultimate edition when they uh, just stop adding stuff to it. I say this like every six months when they put up. Yeah, out. and you Same. make fun of me of having canned responses. Yeah, the, the fucking I really want to get back into into No Man's, no Sky. Man's Sky is like <laughs> the number one thing. Like I've, I want to get back into shape too. Uh -huh. I want to do all that's that. That's right. Every six yeah. months when the when I get when my fitness pal releases releases an update, that's, uh, I'm like I should get back into shape uh, i've taken it one step further and i've installed the game whenever whoa. there's a big update i install it uh -huh. i get in there i walk around look at my ship and i'm like all right i don't mm -hmm. know what the fuck all i right. was doing or that's what i ship. should do and i just yep that's it and then i uninstall and bounce i haven't um, played it since launch which I, but I, I I do enjoy seeing how the the sentiment has changed on it and you know hello games obviously adding a bunch more to it I just don't have it in me to have another sort of ongoing game in my life. Overwatch mm. may not be getting any updates, but it's still filling that void for me. Who who do you play as in Overwatch? Who's who's your main? I I flex a okay. lot. Um, I'm not well. I I can't say I'm I flex because I'm not mm. a good player, but I'm a flex player. Um, Diva, uh, Moira. I'm playing a lot of Mercy at the minute. Um, Reaper. I used to play a lot of Soldier, but I don't like the recoil on his weapon now. Sombra as well, if I'm feeling annoying, which is a lot of the time. And how many characters are there now? 142. 30. No, is that real? Wow. Oh, it's been a year. It's been a year since they added the last one. <laughs> oh um, my gosh! I thought you were gonna say 16. Uh, Did it launch with no. 16? <laughs> okay. It launched with about over 20, I think. 20. Overwatch. Oh, no, no. Sorry, was it Hero 30? Then it's 30 or 32. Really? Great game. Yeah. Th that's how many they have now. Wow. But they're not adding any more okay. until Overwatch 2 and who the hell oh, knows Oh, right. Coming. I forgot. But I for completely forgot there was an Overwatch 2 uh, mm. that those words were spoken uh, once. Jeff Ackler, what's next on the Alex Navarro uh, news list? Okay. He's got a thing here that says... Cyberpunk gets another big update, quote unquote, <laughs> might return to PlayStation soon. Uh, so this one I was looking at, it looks like uh, Cyberpunk's getting some more patches, big patch um, yesterday, it seems like. And here is the quote um, from the SVP of Business Development. We have published several patches. We have just published a really big one yesterday, and we have published several, several hot fixes. Each and every one of them brings us closer to going back to the PSN store. However, the final decision, you have to understand, belongs to Sony. This is definitely not talking to the fans. This is talking to Sony. We do <laughs> believe we're closer than further, but of course, the final call is theirs. So yeah, let's... final call is theirs if they <laughs> oh, see our software runnable. Yeah, right, <laughs> like... right. Um <laughs> Sony's not returning my calls. I keep leaving messages on their system. Their <laughs> inbox is full now. Um, Sony 
if you're listening, this is the only way I can communicate with you through this uh, <laughs> press release. <laughs> through this press release. Just put our game back on the store. It's good now. It's fixed. Thank you, Sony. Bye. We won't ask people to refund their game to you anymore. I promise I won't do that. It wasn't me. Uh, anyway, somebody else did it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so Cyberpunk. The, the tale of Cyberpunk. Wow. What a tale. What a journey. Really... There's a, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a well mix mix there's a self inflicted wound, and then there is the not self inflicted wounds part, and it's like you know they had that breach and that kind of um, you know their stuff stolen, uh, and then they put out a game that was kind of a buggy mess. Um, mm. I don't is, know. Mixed is my feelings. Is, is that? I mean, I'm asking this because I don't know. Mm. Are those two things? immediately related like directly related like one-to-one -one kind of thing which ones the which which ones with the the oh. breach the the hack yeah and i mean the i know that happened their, and the quality of their product i mean the quality of the final game is what led to the hack right yeah people were so. disgruntled and yeah i i mean broke in it's it's a high oh, profile honey. game as well um i think would the hack have happened if, if people were too busy playing a great game called Cyberpunk? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I knew that. I don't know if I knew that that was like a retaliation sort of thing. It came after the game launched, right? Yes, yes definitely. Sure. Yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. did. Definitely. But I think it was in retaliation. Huh. Because they stole a lot of code. Mm -hmm. it, they um, stole like this, the original code of the game, I think, yeah. and then tried to sell it on the black market or something. Or right. Like, I think they I did sell they, it. I thought they, they did. did sell it. Yeah. yeah. I think they did. That game um, became uh, Battle in Wonderland. It's weird. Um, <laughs> that, that, was weird. The, that was the original. Uh, <laughs> that's what Cyberpunk looks like when the bugs are not there. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, know. I will say I, I didn't play it on PS4 since the update, uh, but one of our coworkers, Jean-Luc, did. Mm. And it's I don't think it's any closer coming to PlayStation. <laughs> oh, really? It's, oh, it, no. I, I mean, like a lot of the bugs have been sorted, but it's just like, the optimization is still pretty bad. Yeah. Like it's really framey. Uh, you know, character models still look like PS1 models until you get close and then you wait for them to load in. It's uh it's not as dire, but I just I don't see that coming to at least PlayStation 4 anytime soon. The PlayStation mm -hmm. 5 version seems to run great from what I've heard. Okay. Yeah, I played it on PS. I mean, I played half of it on PC and then um they patched it and my 1080 said no. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I I have a very old rig, though. So they patched your card out. That's fucked up. <laughs> well, no, I don't think they did. I think I just also couldn't be bothered to go in and fix all of the settings mm. that I should have done. I watched a Digital Foundry video and everything, and I just couldn't be bothered to do it. And also, I am spend all day at this desk, so if I can go play a game sure. in bed. Two feet away. Bed, two feet away over there. Um, I'll do it. And so I played the rest on PS5. And for the most part, it was fine. But I did get a lot of crashes. Mm. Like, it was it was fine for me. But and, You know, there are... Even, even there are bad games that are on PSN. There are buggy games that are on PSN. There are games... Um, I think, you know, I think it's probably because they said go demand a refund and yeah. go mm -hmm. there's a little i think it's not just the patches i think i think you have to patch that you relationship tell me there's another angle to this thing? <laughs> i think it's uh i think it's um you got to fix somebody's heart on this one. Oh yeah <laughs> yeah i was gonna say because because if you look at some of the stuff on psn my favorite um treasure trove on psn are mm. the ps4 themes Oh, oh okay. have no, you've no, ever shit. been those through bad. those themes? <laughs> There's like a Princess Diana one you can buy. No, what? Yes. It it brings back memories of like the 360 when you could get yeah. icons of like oh, Carl's Jr. fry boxes. Yeah. <laughs> If you're ever if you're ever at a loss for something to do, just take some time and go look through the PS4 themes gallery. It's and a Trip. And you, you can buy them for for yeah. real money, like two dollars or four dollars. Yeah, real, Ooh, real well, fun I, bucks. I, I, okay, I'm, uh, to get the people's princess on your <laughs> home screen. Sounds like a good stream. I, I'm sure I'm sure you've thought about it, um, or done it. Um, it wow. does say here on huh. Alex's thing after the princess die comment, go to the next story. So let's. Uh... <laughs> wow. What yeah. else does he know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <The fourth> thought. <laughs> Holy shit! Good it's, for him. It's amazing. Oh, he, he does do his homework. Yeah, he does. He is thorough. Um, uh, 
Yeah. He's thorough. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have here. He has a thing and he goes, and he goes, Call of Duty World War II Part Two. Part Two. So can you do that to a Call of Duty? Can you can you duty a duty? I don't uh, know. Uh I don't know either. So Backlar, do you know what's going on here? What do I, well, well, why am I well, is, is am I like the Call of Duty guy? You just talked you just talked about Call of Duty yeah, last segment. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh I I didn't I didn't know anything about this. This is a report, okay. so you know that you're about to read facts. Okay, right? good. That's good. what report colon means. Uh-huh. Is that uh, this is so good stalling. Good job, Jeff. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'm reading. Yeah. I'm reading. I'm reading. <laughs> uh, Sledgehammer is going to develop the next Call of Duty, uh-huh. and it's going to go back to World War II, the the often overlooked war. Finally, uh, <laughs> for never, video games. This never learned anything about, about it. it. Yeah. Um, this really a first for the for the medium in general. But here you have it. Um, World War II in 2021. Didn't they? And, just, didn't we just do is World this War turn? II? This is their turn. We their just turn? had boots on the ground. Okay, we did. But now they've now never back. stops. <laughs> the boots. Yeah, war never, the war never changes. You know, like that's what it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, and then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna tie in your war zones again, as it should. <laughs> because, no, you know, it, no, there's not what? enough room left. A on anybody's console, and B um, mm-hmm. on the menu. Yeah, could, Wait, it's, it's like, I, what, what I know we, someone with a, a stock launch uh, PS4, and the only game he has on it is Warzone. Because, oh my god! Because it's the 500 gig, yeah. and that's it. Oh god! <laughs> and that's, that's all. That's all they, there can be. I mean, look, I'm not making any excuses. It's an absurd size. It seems like there are other games that don't have this issue. I don't know what you would think. I guess the update doesn't eat the bigger update and they become what I don't know how I did see works, it just had a 50 gigabyte update. Yeah. It eats 50 gigabyte updates for breakfast. I mean, yeah. this yeah. thing, it's just like, come yeah. on. It, a 50, 50 gig update was they put like a playing okay, card really? in somebody's hat or something. They're <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, wow. You got that, that in. They put more anime babe gun skins in. Yeah, that's oh right. But, but only three of them because that's what could fit in the 50 gig. I don't know. It's it's a ridiculous... The story of Call of Duty at this point to me is the size of Call of Duty. Um, yeah. Not, yeah, not but, even, like that is that is more impressive than them going to World War II. Like going to World War II is like, is it Tuesday? But the, you know, them seeing if they can fix this monstrosity is really the the takeaway. I, I, I think I'll, I, you know, I say this a lot, especially when we started, uh, you know, uh, pandemic podcasting um I, I this this go around this generation with with modern warfare was the first time ever in my history of playing this game which i at least try every season every year that a full calendar year goes by and i'm still playing this stupid game yeah right? i'm in the same boat as you so like they did something something's going on i don't know if it's the combination of pandemic uh, games and you know playing with my my friends which you know was sort of the way that we were socializing in a way that we had not before because we were actually seeing each other in person i i think it's this perfect storm of that sort of stuff and then even when cold war came out and i wasn't as sort of hot on the multiplayer i kind of grew into that again i don't know what it is and i, I still play that so i did bounce off warzone though i'm kind of over warzone but okay. um that's well, my story. If if you whether or not you want to hear it, but I, mean, I I'm, yeah sorry. Go ahead, I know Jim. nothing about you know how it how you package updates, how how you deploy that kind of stuff. But I have a suspicion that the reason Warzone is so obnoxiously big is just because there's so many characters. Like they've got like 40 characters from Modern Warfare, 40 characters from Black Ops Two. They all have like or Black Ops whatever Cold War. They all have different skins, and it's like that. That's got to be part of it, right? Because when this launched, it wasn't as big, and I they haven't really. I guess they kind of added a new map, but no, that, that it, seems to be the culprit. It was. To me. Uh, I heard that all uh, that FMV man, all that unskippable FMV that yeah, packed in there. <laughs> I mean, like when Overwatch gets an update, it doesn't have to come over on that ship that was in the fucking Suez Canal, right? It's not just loaded onto that <laughs> yeah. thing. Uh, it's tight. Like, yeah, Overwatch here comes is a, small. here comes a Call of Duty update. Look out! It's stuck. Where is uh, it? It's, it's stuck <laughs> in the canal. You can't get it I through. mean. <laughs> Overwatch I'm still hasn't had there, <laughs> Overwatch still it. hasn't had its next gen update on PlayStation. Okay. It's had it on Xbox, but it hasn't got it huh. on PlayStation. So that means though, I can uh, keep it on my external hard drive because PlayStation yes. 5 still can't put mm. fucking uh external hard drive oh. to put PS5 games on it. That's right. Interesting. That's right. Yeah. 
Um, oh. Okay, Alex also wrote after uh, Suez Canal joke. Move on to the next story. Uh, so <laughs> got it, got it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hit his beats in his script here. You're right. Uh, okay, he goes. EA would also like to do golf games again. <laughs> I do like his editorial as he gets. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Which, is, which yeah. is funny. Which is funny because uh, the only golf or the only new golf game in town, I believe, is the uh, the 2K published one, right? It's called like Golf 2K21 or something like that. Or I it was PGA what, Tour. What the or... golf? That was pretty good. Nope. Well, the golf was good. I mean, yes. Yes. I'm talking about it's like fun. PGA sort of uh, themed golf. Yes. Stuff, license sort of stuff. PGA uh, Tour 2K21. 21. Correct. And that game uh, I disliked more than I liked, but there will be a competitor now in the form of uh, EA's P- Sports PGA Tour. Okay. So uh, we're going to get the EA golf now again. They put, a, they put a tweet out that says, we're back in the game. There it is. That's but- EA's famous motto. My favorite thing is while well, they're kind of going for the FIFA crowd because mm. they've used championship golf is coming home. Mm-hmm. What comes home? Football's coming home. That's what oh. they're going for there. Maybe oh. that's a British thing. But no, 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 I get it. There's a song it. where it's like football. I watched Ted Lasso. I understand what you're saying. <gasps> Best show. I'm watching that now. It's, it's really so good. So good. Oh, How is that God. show so good? It should not be that good. <laughs> it shouldn't. It's, it's like, it, it doesn't make sense, but it's great. Whenever there's like a trope about to happen, that's like, oh, they're just going to add drama. They avoid it. And I'm like, thank God, let's just keep the good vibes coming. <laughs> Somehow they just like slither along and you're just like, give me more of this. Nom, 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 nom. I love every second of it. Season two is coming. Don't worry. Yeah, they're filming it, I think, right now. What's the show you guys are talking about? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Come oh, okay, on. okay, okay. We, it, we, they have a FIFA tie in, don't they? Coach Beard and Ted Lasso are doing a FIFA thing. Oh, that I don't know. I saw a tweet and I was like, that's the only thing that would get me interested in FIFA. Yeah. Because their club was not a real club, right? Uh, Richmond, you... AFC Richmond, no. Well, no. Is it? no, no, they're not a real I don't, club. I don't know. I only know uh, the big ones and the little one I know is QPR. Because I Queen, went to a, a Queens Q- Park Queen, Rangers. I went to a, a home uh, QPR game when I was in uh, England about six years ago. And that was an experience. Seven years ago? Something like that. Yeah. Seven years ago. I time. haven't. I, I don't know. Kept up with the football. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but that, um, but I understand uh, Ted Lasso, and I understand how FIFA works, mm-hmm. and now do? we can all I understand how FIFA, like with the relegation, and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Mean? Okay. I feel like it's complicated. It's a lot of, it a lot is. Of it's not out. easy. Like yeah. that, and actually, they do a really good bit on Ted Lasso oh, yeah. about it. How they're like, so if your team is shit, you don't get to play for the Super Bowl, and it's like exactly how about that and like they were like yeah americans couldn't handle that shit yeah it's true like americans can't handle ties it took ties out of hockey there should be ties in hockey we only anyway. have we only have winners and losers this uh speaking of winners and losers mm. uh this says here that uh ea sports pga tour will be built on the company's uh frostbite engine there you go mm. okay hmm so good luck. <laughs> I don't, I don't Slightly know. shiny looking. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I thought. I thought we were past that. I thought we put frostbite out and we're like, we can move past frostbite's good for a couple of things, but we don't have to make everything run on frostbite. Wait, no. Didn't EA have another engine just for NBA? I Did I know. imagine that? This was from like a E3 about five or six years ago, and I. I feel like they had this other engine thing they were talking about, and then everything just got put in frostbite. I don't remember. Is, no, I, I, it sounds right. I think that's that like was the, the part of the press God. conferences where I just check out. Oh, I remember Hoop God though. Yeah, I'll never <laughs> check it out. It was the Hoop God engine. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Everything's <laughs> right, built right, on the right. Hoop God engine. Oh, I mean, yeah, would get uh, me to buy it. The <laughs> Fed- so Vinny- FedEx oh. Cup. There's a FedEx Cup in golf. Man, I wow. don't know. Come on. You, I don't you know anything well, about I, football. <laughs> uh, clearly uh you're not a bowler yeah. um but they uh yeah there's well that's all like the you know the big name sort of championship tournaments i don't they don't have them do they have the masters i don't think they have the masters no i don't know i don't know also uh, Vinny, yes. when you were talking about playing mario with your kids and like mm-hmm. not having fun mm-hmm. uh this is pga tour for me ea ea pga tour is about having fun no, no this was that was the fun. exact story with me and my dad so oh. my dad <laughs> Gamer Dad, uh, PGA Tour, or whatever. Oh, maybe it was Microsoft Golf. 
95. Okay. Okay. And there's a there's obviously the you have to time it so you get it in the little white thing and then you and I as a child with terrible reflexes and no understanding of timing prompts just kept fucking it up spectacularly and it got to the point where my dad yelled at me I remember what? Sweden. yeah not not in like a bad way just like okay. frustrated like no you hit it here <laughs> and I was just I remember bursting into tears and Aww. running upstairs. Did he, he feel felt, terrible? He, he, he felt, felt terrible. terrible and we never played it again. And instead oh, wow. we, we played Tomb Raider together because that was my game that That's I liked. That's so I cool. feel like you won that one. That really I worked did. out well. I was like, for... I don't want to play this golf game anymore. It's time to cry. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I've just, got, I've just got onion wrapped in That's a right. tissue. <laughs> That's, like, oh, That's right. That's right. Tears. She's right. And then upstairs is like, oh, man, it's just... Laura Croft, and, yeah, Raider. that's right. You're saying, you know, I wish you'd just try something I like for once. Yeah. You know, it's, it's okay. We'll you know, play your weird shoot tigers game. <laughs> shoot tigers, <laughs> jumping shoot tigers game. Why there's a dinosaur here? Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, we we could try the golf thing again, maybe in a little while. It, yeah, if you want to in a little while. But this oh, there's is no really dinosaurs fun. in this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's right. I, can we spend just like 30 seconds or maybe possibly way longer on, on the first Tomb Raider game real quick? Uh, you're talking about Tomb Raider 1, right? You play That's the one, right? We play a lot of Tomb Raider 1, but I think it was Tomb Raider 2 or 3. It's the bit where I just I have the I have the memory of getting the quad bike key and we could okay. never get the quad bike key mm. because we were terrible at it. And my dad even bought the strategy guide, oh. the Prima strategy guide. Um, oh, nice. And she had the obstacle course in the back garden. And when you loaded in the game, she would go, welcome back to my humble abode. <laughs> yes. I think that was two or three. I, for, you know, I was thinking about my time with the with those like i guess first three games on pc back when and like there's just something there is something that those games did that i'm still sort of itching for mm -hmm. and i think a lot of it is just like motherfucker you're on your own yeah right where it's just like no objective title it's just like whatever whatever ledge looks flat that's sort of how you're gonna get through this whole thing I just miss have feeling truly isolated in a way huh. where I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like there was I don't, I don't, I don't miss so... feeling truly isolated actually. After no, the last I, no, I really, I, that's uh, what I love. That's one of the few things I'm not feeling right now. Well, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, I wasn't scared. I enjoy, but I felt like an adventurer and I felt mm. like, you know, we, and I just, there's something so different about playing those games where you just like, it was just like hide a fucking lever somewhere that you would never yes. really look for. It would just be I, like behind a rock in a corner somewhere. And you'd be like, this is how I move on. And it was but, like, yeah, but that's great. Don't, don't you know. feel like I that just, also, also time to a point where you're like, I've got one game I'm playing for three months. And like, it's okay if I don't find this lever in 20 seconds, because maybe tomorrow I'll find it or after dinner, I'll find it. And that's great. My, my lovely yeah. summer long affair with this game is fantastic. And it's all I play. Uh, instead of the where the hell is this lever? This game is poorly designed. I need. I have to get seven other games played um, uh, by tomorrow. Sounds like you're mad at something else, Vinny. I can't quite put my mm. finger on. They it. It they like don't something. bubble up at the right time, and then they jump, and the platforms fall from underneath you. And we're just gotta get the stuff. We just gotta get 320 stars. Just I, Jeff, I, if you want to spend a lot of time looking for a lever, I yeah. recommend Dark Souls. <laughs> no, see, Dark Souls, like I. I Dark Souls, I can't do because the the difficulty for me is just yeah, it, really, it doesn't work. It, it's you know, different, like, right? Like, uh, I just have this memory, this very specific memory. I don't remember which Tomb Raider game it was. All the underground caverns of the first mm. one, I, I I love, but there was one, maybe it was two or three, where you're in this old broken ass theater, um, and you're sort of like jumping around from balcony to balcony. I remember entering the theater. Because the beautiful thing about those games is you would just sort of like crawl your way through and all of a sudden you would just like see this huge set piece and you were there for like four hours. Mm. And it was like this whole intricate sort of thing of a lot of a lot of trial and error. And I definitely did look up stuff eventually just because, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I just I probably hit my breaking point at some point. But I missed that. Not to say that, you know, nothing uh, scratches that is for me anymore, but I just want that feeling again. So maybe I'm just uh, is a long way of me saying I need to play that again and see what that's like, or 
I don't know why. This is this is therapy for me. So uh, I, you can bill me. It's fine. Wait. So are you are you talking about like you want to return to a time without easily accessible, like quickly accessible wiki guides, essentially? Because like if yeah. I, if I'm playing something and I get stuck, I I have so little patience that I will just like maybe or you just long for a time when you were curious, you know, uh, and you would yeah. spend that mm. time. You had that playful That's nature. You would spend yeah. that time. I think you're right. I think it's the latter. I think it's mm -hmm. a combination of everything, but, but the majority of it is the latter of what you just yeah. said of where uh, you could just, you know, just do the thing. That's why I like the, the newer tomb Raiders uh, that have those tombs mm. was a, was a very big deal for me. And I was very into that, but again, they kind of adhere to a more contemporary design mm -hmm. in a way that the older ones sort of just were yeah. like, oh, sorry, you're on your own there. Uh, yeah. but, it was like, hey, this object is painted red. It's yeah. probably yeah. going to be useful. And then you exactly. push the object and it's like, okay, I think I see what's going on here. Yeah. Totally. Um, totally. Do you reckon that there was a point in game? Maybe it's like uh, the, the point in games that we've never recovered from is when, uh, you know, like, detective mode became mm. a thing right exactly where it's like hey this is sparkly shit mode yeah <laughs> look at everything that shimmers mm. you know you're right that's what it is it's that layer well the, i think uh, games also i i appreciate some of this design i think it's smart where they were you know started making ledges have you know red moss on them if you can climb them or we're gonna, right, we're gonna drape this, yeah. this, mm -hmm. this this sheet over it and we can use dynamic lighting now to point your path, but yeah, shit. By this point, you kind of know what colors games use, right? Like you know, right. Uncharted is like yellow. Yes, you know, like but certain games are red, right? White for Assassin's Creed. There you go. Yeah, I think that it without that, I, I feel like too many people will get frustrated at this point. Mm. Like because yeah. you because you could design like you said you, back then you look for the flat ledge, but now they make a wall look like a wall. And if they, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't, so Assassin's Creed has kind of gotten off of that. Right. And they just climb anything. You're just yeah. Spider-Man. You just climb, climb whatever you want. You don't actually need to have a cued ledge here. We're not doing parkour anymore. Now you're just doing Spider-Man up a wall. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if I enjoy that more or less. It's weird. I like the, um, what was it? Uncharted did the thing where if your hand goes out, if he, if he puts the hand out, then that's when you can jump. And if it puts the hand in, yeah. then don't make yeah. the jump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was all right. Um, I feel like Prince of Persia had a cue as well when you would make a jump or not. Prince Prince would do the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't um, know. I, video video games, uh, it's the best time to be playing video games. You can still play those old games. You go mm -hmm. I know. Games. It just felt like we just, it was a nice little segment of putting on that warm little Tomb Raider blanket. It feels okay. nice. I did not play Tomb Raider. I did not have a PlayStation at the time. So I did, did not. I? Yeah, that was not, not my wheelhouse. Um, and like it was just silent too those games had like no there's no like ambient music it was just like dead ass quiet mm. you know, like maybe a cricket every now and then you know what I mean it was so fucking quiet and you're just like yeah I don't know I'm just I'm just wow, having a moment right you now you really are a, yeah, <laughs> I love it uh, I love it yeah go boot up some yeah. Tomb Raider I don't hey, know it's I, the 25th anniversary they must be doing something yeah Sending that, everybody yeah. giant Laura Croft statues again. That's uh, that's okay. What doing. Well, a, yep. All right. Um, <laughs> I think that's it for the news, though. Well, there's this one last Wait. one. Um, I lied. Yeah. <laughs> there is this one last one. Uh, Alex would like everybody to go watch the Dynasty Warriors trailer. Uh, I watched it, and he's right. You should watch. Yeah, the I Dynasty watched it. Warriors yeah. trailer. You should watch it. Um, it is. I would say the perfect trailer for a Dynasty Warriors game. Like, mm -hmm. like, I think they're nailing it. It looks like the game. Yeah. It, <laughs> <it's> a, <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. It looks it looks more fun, I think, for me than than the game. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, good job nailing it. Um. All right. Should we go, um, Jeff? Unless you want to talk about uh, Tomb Raider anymore, I think we're going to head into the email section. Uh. Yeah. I think I think we could allow that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. We got to go. Uh, you gotta go watch some trailers for Tomb Raider. Oh, Dreamcast, oh, I gotta find. <laughs> oh, take a break. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take another quick break. Uh, we'll be back very soon. Let me find the thing that I've closed. Hold on a second. Here we go. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Hold on. And we are back. 
If you're just joining us, I'm here with Jeff Bacalar, Jake Decker, and Lucy James. Jake and Lucy from GameSpot. Alex Navarro was here earlier and is now getting vaccinated. Maybe as we speak. Yep. Maybe not oh, yeah. as we speak. Uh, we're Ooh. back, and it's time for emails. If you have an email, you can send it into beastcast at giantbomb.com. That is beastcast at giantbomb.com. Bacalar. Yeah, yep. yep you're yep, you're yep. in that inbox. You're just reading everything now. Trying to oh, so real quick, really, can I just pre- you know, let me just do a thing here? Um, so uh, as yeah. everyone found, uh-huh. well, I, we found out yeah. uh, last week, I got access to the inbox, but then there were some uh, weird things where I couldn't directly reply. So I, so I was getting all these. Pe- I told people to put in brackets for Jeff, mm-hmm. so we know it was for me. Yeah, and then and then you can expect what happened right away. But I couldn't reply, so I felt handcuffed. Mm. But I think I found a workaround. So I just want to clear the air that I wasn't ignoring you. I just couldn't reply right away. But now I think I sort of can. So. I would just feel better with everyone knowing that. That's really all. I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Clear the air. Clear the air. Yeah, make sure nobody's blaming you. you. And I'm also now able to see a lot more of the emails that uh, I said at the top that that criticize you. Yeah. You keep from me. So you don't have to see. Yeah, I usually don't. The, I usually don't just directly send you the ones that are uh, that yelling are like, at, that are just yelling at me for your personal keep pile. No, I, I don't. Right. Didn't well, forward those know, to you. In the interest in of full fact. transparency, it should probably yeah. be a thing I'm privy to. But, um, but yeah, yeah now I can right. and I will also see the ones about like you know the fun keyboard and hockey stuff and and all that. And uh, so thank you and keep them coming. And uh, not the ones that criticize me, the ones that criticize Jeff, keep those coming. He's I haven't opposite. seen that yet, but I'm, sh- I'm sure they're in there. I'm just saying I haven't seen them yet. Uh-huh. They are probably there perhaps, uh-huh. you know, more infrequent. Those don't say to Jeff at the front. <laughs> oh, they, <laughs> There's another mailbox for that. Yeah, those, uh, <laughs> those are my personal keep all. Anyway, um, last week we were talking about the Snyder cut and Superman and the whole business and, um, my, uh, my thoughts on Superman and, and we shared those a bit there problems making a movie with Superman. Boy, that's a super powerful superhero. How do you make a movie where, um, you have a superhero who could do anything so we got some uh, nice emails that came in uh, describing superman i thought this one from mike was actually i really like this one so i'm gonna read it okay. so mike, mike says um this probably won't be read on the show you're wrong mike i'm gonna <laughs> read it uh, i want to share my thoughts on superman superman's greatest strength is restraint he can punch you to death or burn you with his eyes but he doesn't he's not dumb he believes people can be good and gives every opportunity for them to do so. The Superman as a video game doesn't work because restraint is not flashy or exciting. You can't get a game made with the whole pitch being you have all the power but you don't use it. Superman teaches us that being a good person and using what power we have to help rather than harm makes everything better for everyone. Again, that's not cool or exciting. But it's why I like him. I thought that was very sweet. Thanks, Mike. I, I thought that's that was, very astute. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a very that good is way the to put best it. Superman defense I've ever heard. Yeah, uh, I thought I, that was good. I don't think it's really moved the needle for me personally, but I. <laughs> but like, if I was invested and there was no looking back, and I was all in on Superman, like I would wear this on my chest too, because that is a very so lucid. Nice. It's yeah. a very reasonable. Uh, a defense of Superman. So yeah. well done. Uh, thank you for that. It Mike. made me that was rethink. Really, really well written. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It made me rethink having to write for a Superman uh, a book or, or comic or, or movie and think about like how, how you would do that with restraint and make that exciting. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. have you ever read yeah. Red Sun? No. That's probably Superman, uh, Superman Red Sun is, I've not read a lot of Superman but I live with Greg Miller and he adores Superman. Like I have Superman stuff all over my room because this, you know, like some of the stuff that he's just gathered Used to be a Superman room. It used, <laughs> to be, it used to be his Superman room and then I moved in. Okay. But Clark Kent motherfucker, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he recommended Red Sun. And that's, you know, 
what would happen if Superman didn't land in America and he landed in the USSR? And so that to me was like the only interesting Superman story that I've ever really read, um, except whenever he's crossed over with Batman, I guess, right. because you get to see him through the lens of Batman. But I've never been interested in just like solely Superman stories. But now with Mike from Texas is very good. Yeah. I, I might give it a, I might give him a shot, you know? See yeah, more, I th- see more of him because that's the thing. He always felt like such a two dimensional character to me because, oh, he's the goody goody who can kill you if you wanted to. <laughs> right. He's just a big nerd. Yeah. They, I think they make a good point too about like why it wouldn't work in games, but I, I'd be really curious to see a good Superman movie because I feel like there hasn't been one of those <laughs> in a very long time. And I feel like if you stick to this idea, you could probably make a good movie because, you know, the player is not in control of a movie. You can kind right. of write the character how it should be written so I, i'd be curious to see how that would go i feel like they yes. tried in, in that man of steel to, to do man some of, of that. steel was they did but a lot it of it was good and mess, then right? just stuff happened in that movie <laughs> I mean, at some point, you got to have Superman unleashing the Superman. It's like, well, it's like, well, that's the big, at some point, you're going to have Al Pacino then, right? screaming like, and going on a rant. That's why you hire Al Pacino. But you, you got to have Superman do the power. Otherwise, <laughs> yes, yeah. those are two very similar things. Put okay. Al Pacino <laughs> as Superman. Put Al, uh, Al, Pacino, Al Pacino as Superman. In, that's in what Dick I want. Dick Tracy yelling <laughs> and. Superman Unleashed. I get it. Yeah. Uh, Backlog, you, <laughs> you want to take this next one here about T? Sure. I have an argument with my wife that I'd love for the crew to settle. Uh, Hello. I, I was just going to say, perfect Hello. timing. <laughs> uh, oh, I love how Ted Lasso hates T. Oh, he it's hates so it so funny. much. Oh, it's so funny. Um, I tried to word the options as to remain impartial. Mm-hmm. When you make tea via a tea bag, do mm-hmm. you one- Place the bag in the hot water, giving it time before removing it and drinking. Or two, place the bag in hot water and immediately squeeze it like a monster before discarding it. Happy Passover. You know what? Um, kind of feel like the uh, the opinion was not <laughs> not really it's an objective uh, disguised statement. very yeah. well here. But uh, there's only one correct answer. And what is it, Lucy? It is answer number one. You put... You, you boil the kettle, you get your cup or your mug, you mm. put the tea bag in it, you wait for the kettle to boil. Actually, if you're a real pro, you've got one of those kettles that has different temperatures for different types of teas. What? Oh, so that's cool. also a secret because oh. sometimes you can scald um, stuff if you put it in, in the temperature and it's too hot. So oh. you then pour the boiling water on the tea bag, you let it steep minimum two minutes, <gasps> three Whoa. if you are looking for some builder's tea. And then you gently squeeze the tea bag, (laughs) take it out, put your milk in. Um, The ideal color for a cup of tea is the color of He-Man's skin. He-Man's skin. That I learned that from Tamar Hussein, and it has never, it's never steered me wrong. Is that just like orange? Yeah, (laughs) it's like that, like slightly orangey. Um, but it's the exact color they would use in the cartoon. <laughs> that is the color that you want your tea to be. That, that I don't know. Like a tea tea fact. And yeah. <laughs> get me a picture of He Man. <laughs> Just holding uh, He Man up to, against the. <laughs> it's not quite there yet. I've gone too far. Uh, uh, and so I, I, I like a flat teaspoon of sugar. What does that? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Oh, like, so, not like, a heaped one, okay. just like a little just flat like cut off there. Yeah, okay, just for okay. a little smack so, of sweetness. So, okay. So when I make my tea, I throw the tea bag in the mug, and then I put mm-hmm. the sugar in while the teas. I pour the sugar in at the bottom uh, while the tea, while the water is boiling, because I figure, oh, when I pour the water in there, mm-hmm. it's gonna stir it all around, and then uh, I pour the water in. Uh, and then I pour the milk in, and then I hope for the best and don't use a spoon to stir. Is that is that legitimate? Can that's, I? I mean, who wants the dirtiest spoon? That's a, that, that's such a waste. It's but that's dirt- why they call it a teaspoon. Because you don't have to wash it. No, because you use it for your tea. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. but then, you, then you, <laughs> it's like, but I, you know, like, you know. Can I leave it out on the counter and then use it again for the next head, right? Just leave yeah, it, use it for the next day. Okay. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do whatever you want. I can want. do whatever you I want. Just do a little rinse. Yeah. I mean, okay. you know, grown up. You can do whatever pink, you want. My pinky and the tea. Um, that would scold you. <laughs> so, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> so you do a squeeze and that gets all the, that's the final a essence. Gentle out. Squeeze, gentle a squeeze. gentle squeeze. It has to steep. Okay. Yeah. You know? Two minutes. Who's steep. got that time? 
I wouldn't no, Kona no, that's, takes that's longer that's than the that. Thing. Oh. So in the UK office, we have um whenever I'd be there, well, I was there for like five years, but I don't know why I'm saying it in a weird way. But we would do it where it's like we'd get in, have our morning meeting, and then you use the tea break. The tea break is a, a sanctified <laughs> thing in the UK. Huh. You have the tea break, you chat with everyone, and while you're waiting for your tea to brew, um, that's when you're catching up. That's when you're chatting. And then you make your tea, you go back to work, and you've got a nice drink with you. Oh, and then you man. do the same thing again at like 3 p.m., which is like when you're flagging in the afternoon, you've got uh, no energy, uh, you go and have a little tea break, and you get re- reinvigorated for the last couple hours of your day. So was there, oh, man. Was there like a like a, a hot water dispenser so people didn't have to boil water? You just kind of fill up your teacup with it? Um, it's funny you say that. We actually got in trouble with facilities because um, they did have a hot water, one of those hot water taps, but it wasn't yeah. hot enough for tea. Oh. And we got a kettle. We actually got told off for having a kettle because of health and safety. An electric kettle? So, yeah. And you? Yeah, but like technically, we weren't allowed like a like a, like a toaster. Mm-hmm. Wait, there is yeah, a toaster true. in our office. I know we had it there uh, I- illegally. Yeah, because we had Wait, like a toaster oven. As really? Well. That was an yeah, illegal dude. toaster yeah. oven? Yeah, that was a hot toaster. I mean, yeah. yes, that toaster... that's how that toasters work, but oh, I didn't yeah, realize but... it was... Um... <laughs> but that toaster was, was hot a topic. crime. It was a crime, yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? Like some, I, I'm pretty sure it's like some sort of... I don't, is it like If OSHA? that toaster who, oven who was a crime, I'm so glad nobody ever came into our studio. We'd all be in prison. The things that we oh, had in that... I mean, look, look at what you had in Chow. Like, yeah, yeah, that was an open... Oh, yeah. I am... I'm actually mad at myself that I didn't take like the kitchen aid big mixer thing that was just there. And then I went in, I went in to shoot the um the PlayStation 5 unboxing and someone had taken it. I was like, damn it. Uh, really? Like everything else was still there and the kitchen mix had gone. I was like, damn it. Oh my gosh. You don't remember like twice a month you'd see um Eugene run into the kitchen <laughs> no. with the blanket. No. <laughs> no. And and the fire marshal the toaster. Coming? You just come in. No. Everybody shut the fuck up about this bagel <laughs> toaster. No, I did and not remember that. Eugene, Eugene what? Uh, I, well, first okay. of all, I don't think I've ever seen Eugene run anywhere. But second, I, I, don't, I don't remember like, that. No, that's funny. Huh, that's, um, that, well, look. look you had bagels. Gotta, what are you going to do? Gonna, people aren't going to toast their bagel? Nope. They're going to put it in the microwave and get a, get a, get a, a, a Wait, moist, really? soft-ass bagel, Stop I guess. It. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I know. What are you not putting it in the toaster? I mean, You're I crazy. Did, I, listen, I could go for an untoasted bagel. Well, that's good to know have, about the I, tea. I, I, I have a tea uh, question. I feel like I got to get them all out now. Yeah, now it's an early one. chance. That was the time. So Hello. I'm not against tea where Lasso's like, oh, it's garbage water. Hate it, right? Yeah, that whole thing. But uh, I feel like tea is not strong enough for me the way, like, I love really dark, dark Oh, you just uh, let it. Coffee. You just let it steep longer. So, is there like different, like caffeine sort of like situations there? And I also remember uh, I drank a lot of tea when I was over there, and I put a lot of milk in my tea. Mm-hmm. And that's cool, right? I wasn't. <laughs> that's fine. People, people will turn their nose up at you if you put milk in. Um, for some reason, Earl Grey. Mm, but yeah. I actually like a bit of Earl, uh, milk in my Earl Grey. I think that's what John Luc Picard did. Okay. Okay. So yeah. That's Earl Grey hot. All right. I'm not sure on steep time versus caffeine levels, though. Um, All right, next time we'll have, we'll, but, we'll talk and we'll. Okay, how about uh, okay? Now I have two questions too. Okay. Uh, there um, you go. Uh, Get uh, am I um, am I gonna be um, arrested because I keep the tea bag in my tea while I drink it? No. Or is that cool? Not, I mean, it's not the done thing. Sounds like a sounds like a faux pas. Is I it? mean, it, if you if you look in, you know, like a Debrett's etiquette guide or something, you'd yeah, probably that's be what I'm usually cast going by. out. Uh, um, okay, so like, um, if I like, would I be kicked out of the Queen's like parlor or billiard room? I mean, queen? I don't know why you'd want to be there in the first place. Right? For her that's money, a Queen's parlor. For, I want the money. She'd have a. She'd have. A, I mean, she. I don't know. Robbing the Queen? I don't understand. I mean, she's robbing the taxpayers. One of my. Boom! Oh, oh we're getting into it now. Oh, Some just, real I'm deep. Not, <laughs> I'm not a royalist. I okay. my my stepmother was like, "Oh, how do you feel about Harry and Meghan getting married?" And I was yeah. like, I "Don't care." You're like, "Harry probably keeps his tea bag in this cup. It's probably and when he drinks it. a monster. Oh, so when no. he drinks it. Is, um, can you can you make two bag? Can you make two cups of tea with one tea bag? You can, but it's not ideal. Okay. What if I squeeze that's, it real hard student, the second time? Student oh, okay. tea making. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's I ramen. Mean, you, that's okay. That's grilled cheese yeah. ramen. What you, Okay. What you want is you, if you're making it for multiple people, yeah. you want to get a nice little teapot going. 
And then how many? Okay, I got it. is there a is there a ratio? Okay, but then you need like loose tea, and you got to measure it, and you got to do the whole no, thing. No, just put like three tea bags in. Okay, yeah, dude. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I just put them in an electric kettle and just dump dump tea bags in there? No. Why not? It's just all boiling water. Yeah. This- I I mean. I'm gonna take this you as know a what? yes. This is how British I am. Is that I've never even considered <laughs> monster. <laughs> I come on your show <laughs> as a okay. sign of good faith between our countries. <laughs> if you offend yeah. me like this, <laughs> I just started to shove the tea bags and coffee grounds right in the old uh, electric kettle. And just, uh, I mean, at you least got... you're not like using the hot tap. No, yeah. no, that's not in Jersey. Yeah. That'll that'll make you sick. <laughs> that's, you, gotta, you gotta filter that stuff. That's uh, was not <laughs> expecting an international incident, but here we are. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's. I'm, I'm yeah. sure you've seen it, but Tamor sent me a TikTok of this yes. woman making tea in like I don't know Texas or something, and it is. I know nothing about tea, but I was disturbed just oh, on no. another level. Like the amount of sugar, like what was being is is so hard to watch. Ooh, yeah. I've seen I've seen the that, one you're talking like, about. I I got to feel like she's doing it for a Russell. That. She's doing it for a Russell. You know, she's Probably. doing it just to get just to get the clicks. Huh? This it was like it. more sugar than like. Ooh. I think she just makes it with like like Lipton or something oh. like that. It was. Oh geez. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, what's your favorite tea? Earl Grey. Yeah. Okay. That's my that's my favorite. It's it's because it's got like a nice little. You know, it's good for any time of day. I have a cup hmm. before bed. Yeah. When I'm in the UK. Is it no caffeine in Earl Grey? Has a little bit, but it's you know that's the one. The the night tea is okay. the one I'll like put more milk in. Just okay. you know, it's like a nice. Interesting. Salt. salt it flavor. would it would take me a while to I feel like to get used to all the caffeine stuff because now I feel like I'm in a good place with what I need out of my coffee. Mm. Mm. You can get decaf mm. tea. The decaf. tea tea I drink is decaf. Um, you can get a nice little peppermint too. That's a good Ooh. bedtime tea. Oh, tea, tea's more fun. Tea, tea can wear more hats. I mm-hmm. feel like than coffee can. Yeah, I use tea a lot now as just like I'm like kind of hungry, but I shouldn't have a snack. I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and it kind you of. You eat your tea? Me. I do. I just eat the bag, um, <laughs> and then pour the water in my hot water in my mouth. That's, <laughs> that's some like and then lick a salt, the lick a sugar. That's some cube. like Belushi bullshit right there. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's what they do in the UK. That's how I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> Jake, why don't you take this one um, from Cameron here? Um, it's the the one if you're on the dock. All right. Yeah. Heavy Industries. Yes. Yeah. Beast Crew. This week I've been wiring on a building with... Sorry. This week I've been wiring on a building with high ceilings that has necessitated the use of a scissor lift. And the dang thing... And God. And dang, has, has it been fun using it? Whoa. I like cannot read out loud, so you're gonna have to bear with <laughs> It's <me> okay, this. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you all could own your own, if you all could own our own, geez. <laughs> if you all could own our operate and a piece of heavy equipment for a week, what would it be? Alex, no easy tractor trailer cop out answer. Cameron, the, if you the, understood that, no, basically, the, the, like, <laughs> the skill you get used to is editing on the fly at some point mm-hmm. of just it's, like, yeah, okay, that, that, that is not what this person meant to, <laughs> meant to write. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, heavy, heavy equipment. Uh, Jake, you got something you just want to use for a week, just a big old. Oh, man. I feel like I've thought about this before, but nothing is coming to my head. Like I've gone past things and seen it. I'm like, yeah, I want to drive that. Yeah. But mm. like that looks badass. Let me do that. I want, one of the, I want to try one of those wrecking ball, those old school wrecking ball oh, things yeah. with like the, that you swing the ball and hit a brick wall. I with want like to try like a Miley that. Cyrus on it. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. I, how do you even like the wrecking ball thing seems so impossible to I maneuver. Know, I know. Do you because have to wind not- it up? Because you're not even. It's not like you have it, to jut it over and then just wait for the yeah, swing, like, right? Yeah. If it's just like the ball, did you like move the arm and then the thing just does? I, that? I, Is I, that what you're doing? I think you're just yeah, you're just like it's Are you pretty doing medieval. That? I think it's just physics. I think you're just like this is a very heavy ball attached to a chain. Uh, I couldn't lift this with my arms, so let's have a machine do it and then swing, swing it at this wall. Uh, do they even use them anymore? Like, I, I don't know. If they, I don't know, but when you think about it, it's like wrecking balls are stupid. No, they're like, fantastic. That, I, mean, I understand, but like the whole, like, I feel like there's a lot of 
responsibility in using one of those things yeah. and all it is is a big old concrete ball on a dangly chain that's mm. scary like would you be better off starting after the building and doing a full circle and really get that thing wound up and just smashing it into the wall you know like a like a hammer throw kind of thing that's oh like be in the middle of the building and just just yeah, just or, it right oh, that'd be good. That'd oh, no, be good. Thank yeah, you. no, that'd be good. I'd like that. Or just oh, make no. the ball explosive and just you know, just why have the ball? That'd be cool. Why not? Why not just have it explode each time? That sounds fun. Uh, this is why they won't let me. Anybody else have any heavy machinery uh, uh, fantasies they <laughs> they want to get out here on the show? I'll, I'll tell you, I'd never want to operate a crane because I feel like mm -hmm. I've done that in every game. It's like the crane yeah. puzzle. I wouldn't want to do uh, that. I think maybe like a train would be kind of cool. Does that count yeah, though? I don't sure. think that counts. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Heavy equipment. Hell yeah. You could do some damage with a train. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. But I feel like as long as you know enough, it's probably hard to fuck that up too much. Oh, I don't know. I've never driven a train. Maybe it is easy to mess up, but you know, you're you're on a track. You can't like crash Oh, you can you can jump that track. Yeah, but oh, you can you go can, too fast. Yeah, oh, you can, really? oh, you you can, can definitely yeah, jump yeah. that track. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. Oh yeah. All right, that that'd be fun. What? Yeah, avoiding the yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, um there's a place in the UK called Diggerland that I was always very sad that I never got to go to where you could operate small diggers. We oh, took our like a playground. We, there's cool. one in the states too. We took our kids there. <gasps> I loved really? it. Was it magical? Was it everything you thought it could you be? You raced little forklifts, <laughs> like <laughs> like instead of go karts, they're little forklifts, uh, and you could like race them around the track. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Hey, turns out it is fun. Uh, I, I, well, when you're not yeah. like having to do it for a job and, you know, you know, and like, you know, at 35, don't have a broken back from like having to do all the that labor. But like, yes, it is operating those machines and digging a hole with a with a giant front end digger thing is, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty fun. Um, I'm watching, cool. watching, being around construction sites. I was I'm somehow around them a decent amount um, and watching people do the right thing and then watching people who've done it for years not do the right thing because mm. they know they know what the limits are of the thing uh, is also kind of amazing. I'm like, oh, no, you should, mm, I'm not sure you're supposed to be putting that thing down to lift the front of your thing up in a weird, weird way so you could like, you know, basically do endos with your uh, your bulldozer. That seems like not the intended use of this. Uh, those, those man. Anybody ever do a forklift and like a like have to get pallets with a forklift? No, that's no. scary. That's scary. It seems like I, I'm always. I understand it's it's all physics based, but it, that all that seems precarious in a way that I don't like. You know, when you just see a pallet going up, like I've had a fair fair amount of pinball machines <laughs> yeah. delivered here. And like here's this, the, the base like of this thing is, is like, very small, and yours now sixty feet up in the air. Yeah. Uh, they put weights, I think, on the back. I think they literally have weights on the back of those things so they, so they don't tip forward. What um, the the actual forklift. forklift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, but, but there's also like the the hand cart one. You know, because like I said, when I get like <laughs> mm -hmm. a, a pinball yeah. machine here, like yeah. leverage is a little weird. pump, little <laughs> yeah. pump. This is like real casual. And then just I'm just like, wow, that's 300 pounds. You're just moving around with your pinky there. And that's <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. Yes. Uh, I fair. would like to do some sort of demolition thing. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, knock the stuff over with some yeah. cool. Some uh, teardown thing. stuff. Yeah, some teardown. Uh, I, I like that stuff. That would feel uh, fun, I think. So. All right. Um, Lucy, do you want to take this one from Andy? Sure. Uh, my wife and I went to a Spanish market yesterday when she asked an employee something in perfect Spanish. She re she responded in kind and they talked for a few minutes and then said goodbye. I stood there confused when my wife asked me, what's up? I responded, you speak Spanish? Why what? didn't you ever tell me that? She responded nonchalantly and I quote, huh, I guess you never asked. We have been together for 14 years. She is from Italy and speaks Italian and English. Never knew that she spoke that she spoke Spanish. What is something surprising about your significant others that didn't come out for a long time? That your your wife is a spy. Yeah. <laughs> your, yeah. your wife is an international spy, uh, and she has been uh, not telling you for 14 years. 14 years. 14 years. How does that not come years. up? 14 years. How does it just not just not come up? There's where I don't understand where you're from. Like, like how is Spanish never a thing Just, where we live? Spanish is incredibly popular. Like, I, I mean, know. unless it's in the UK. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe in the UK, Spanish isn't as popular as, say, like French. 
Uh, all right. I'll, I'll, for I'll 14 years, that. though? But 14, 14, 14 years. years. 14 years no, I can't is get a really that. long time. Could you imagine your <laughs> SO, your turn on, they're just speaking a whole different language. You had no idea that they spoke. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. That That is fucked up. Yes, that is great. That, that, yeah. that that's is the crazy. only reason I picked this email. I, I don't have it. Nobody has way, a thing. Nobody else has a no. thing. Nobody. By the way, Andy, <laughs> I would pay money to see the look on your <laughs> face when you turned to her and said, "You speak Spanish." Like, <laughs> oh my god, is that amazing? That must have been amazing. Um. Also, like, <laughs> also, he's like, is there? Is there anything else in there? <laughs> is there anything yeah. there? Is there, uh, I, well, I, um, let's see. I can, Asking uh, your wife enough questions? I can yeah. uh, kill, a, kill a man in three seconds with a paperclip. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trained in a uh, bow staff, a uh, sword, a uh, psi, uh, nunchucks. Let's see. I can survive uh, poisoning. I uh, know that one. Don't ask me how. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, like... Uh, and and un- don't uh, don't look under the uh, third floorboard in the bedroom <laughs> to, right. to the left. For never, any reason. Yeah, never never go in there and never look under there. I think that about covers it. What's your name again? Andy. Andy. That about covers it, Andy. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that's well, wild. Like go downstairs and she's speaking German perfectly. Uh, right. I don't know. I don't, I, she's watching anime without subtitles. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm getting all this. So are we enjoying First it? of all, you watch anime? Second of all. Who <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> are you talking to me? And I was like, here and there. That is wild. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, yeah, I, great I, email. I, but I wish, I wish, I wish there was something for 14 years that I could uh, spring on my wife and be like, oh, you didn't know? You didn't know? Yeah. You didn't you didn't know I did that. Yeah, I could blow glass. Um, yeah, just, you didn't know this this whole time? I was just in the basement. What do you think I'm doing down there? Podcast? Yeah. No, I made this lovely unicorn for you. This yeah. is uh, this is what I made do you down a there. Bong. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is a, I make bong I make bong down there. <laughs> How did you not know this? It's been yeah. twenty years. You don't, well, yeah, I don't smoke weed, but I make bongs. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> two years, four years, okay. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> I, I will say, my partner has never had soda, doesn't know the taste of Coca-Cola. Like, what? In, yeah, has never, doesn't know the taste of Coca-Cola, has never had soda, has just avoided it her entire life because she just thought it seemed gross and didn't like that co- that condensation happens on the paper cups and just didn't have it at all. And well, I was like- a point there, but yeah. I, it, it is weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but <laughs> like- Soda's weird, yeah. I don't have soda much anymore, but like, I, I like, I don't know how to explain- coca-cola flavor to someone who's never had no coca like how do you explain that yeah but like okay okay that's very hard to do because it it's it is kind of like a poison right and then like well but it, it is. You, you get yeah. used to it and it's bubbling yeah. and it's funny uh but if you were with that partner for 14 years it's different because i have not <laughs> right and you went to a restaurant one day and you're like i'll take a coke a uh, two cokes and you're like i've never had soda i don't know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to respond I'd be, to that. I'd be like wait really and then like, you just flash back like like the like the Marvel Universe intro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Thinking of every time you had soda with yeah, them and right. <laughs> and they're just like having like water or something and be like, I I guess you haven't. Huh. 14, huh? I Yeah. That's that's uh That's wild. I mean it's wild, but I feel like I've met people who claim, I mean, I believe this person. I'm you know, yes. I, I oh, yeah. believe I haven't had soda, but uh, I feel like I've come into contact with people who are like, yeah, never, never got around to trying a banana. Sure. You know, and you're just like, yeah. how's that happen? That's I Dan. Mean, that's the soda Dan thing, I think, is a more believable yeah. sort of thing, for sure. Yes, that is Dan Riker. <laughs> that end scene. Never had a grape. Really? Just never occurred to me. <laughs> never no. had the opportunity. I didn't know you could eat them. <laughs> I, didn't, right. I didn't know. That's right. So they were just set their decoration on tables. Just, uh, that's it. Tried one once. It was plastic. Just thought they were all that way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, Backler, why don't you take this uh, last one here? Um, because I, I only because I thought it was funny. Okay, <laughs> it's from Jonathan. from Jonathan. Yeah. Um, okay. Since the pandemic started, I've noticed that lots of streamers wear hats on camera. I don't know anyone who wears a hat when they're just lounging in their own home. 
So I'm wondering, what is it about streaming at home that brings out the headwear? Worried about messy hair? Accessorizing to look nice for the audience? Do you guys wear hats in your house when you're not on camera? I cannot imagine that Jeff and Vinny were wearing hats for nearly five years of beast casting every week when you were all still in the office. Well, Jonathan. <laughs> we had a little hat rack next to the beast cast that we all put on hats before we, we did the show. I think everyone has their own. That is true, number one. Uh, I think everyone has their own personal reasons for the hats for me uh well i just don't have a lot of hair anymore Aww. and uh i hate that a lot and uh i wear a lot I, i've always been a big hat person you had hat, you hats. wore hats I, in the office tons yeah I, I i would but not every thursday not when every we record thursday. the no it's I, my thursday hat yeah. when i had more hair here's mm. the thing when i had more hair i wore less hats mm. is how that went Weird. so inverse uh, relationship yeah, I mean, you know, I just got a I just got a haircut the other day and I really took a lot off and um it's kind of the move from here on out. Oh, and okay. I, You're in it. Yeah, I didn't shave it. I didn't okay. do your thing, but you look great that Thank way. Thank you very I, you know, much. I appreciate it. I uh you know, it's not fun. I don't it's but anyway, I but I do like I think hats on on um you know, stream or camera whatever you want to call it they had a nice fun dimension to the whole thing um a part of me is also like yeah i'd probably rather not wear one though i feel like i need to wear it because it's just makes me feel more comfortable sure being on, yeah. on camera i so uh that that's the story i uh i'm not a hat person um at all i started wearing the hat because my headphone band is disintegrating so on my headphones, the inner band is basically oh, no just way. chewed apart mm -hmm. at this oh, point. And this is a protection like thing for you? <laughs> flex on my head. So do you just wear it when you record? So that? I started off just wearing it when I would record. Otherwise, I was like just like brushing flex out of my hair all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, at some point, I just got used to it. And I was like, oh, it's just, I, I don't wear like hats. Like I, I don't know why, but I take hats off when I go in buildings. I'm like weird – you're religious, uh, I guess. Yeah, it's religious. So I'm extremely religious, and I will not uh, wear hats inside because I need God to see my head. No, I don't know. Uh, I just I just don't wear them inside, um, and I don't wear them when I'm. I don't wear them when we eat dinner. I think I'm because I'm superstitious, and I ne it's like one of those things no, that like I didn't do, and then I then I'm like, well, if I if I wear a hat when I eat this meal. Uh, it's clearly a plane will crash through this house. So well, like, no, you know. that well, that sounds more like old school, like manners sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe where like I'm you go polite. exactly like uh, oh, you're at the dinner table, take off your hat. What yeah, you maybe it is. Maybe it is. Somebody I, I told me that, that as well. Okay, yeah. somebody somebody told me that uh, you can eat hot food if two people have been served at the table. Is that has anybody ever heard that before? As I was waiting to eat. At, oh at yeah, dinner. yeah, no. Yeah, That's is that a, a true thing? So. The, there's this misconception that if you are at dinner with the queen, you can't, like, you can't eat until every until she's been served. I was like, you can't eat until everyone's been served. But it's actually hmm. like if you have hot food, you can start. It's if you're all eating cold food, you can't start. Oh, until everyone's okay. Served. So I so usually do the thing where I try to wait for everybody to be served, mm -hmm. and and somebody said eat, and I was like, I'll wait. And like, you know, use your hat as a little. I, I took it off at the dinner table. I don't have it's gone. It's probably still in the you know, if I'm at the queen, it's in the hat room. I assume what? she has one. The hat parlor? It's in the hat parlor. It's in a little the round, hat wing. It's, it's in the hat wing in a little round box <laughs> waiting for me to come back. Um yeah, I uh um I sorry I don't normally wear hats, but now I kinda do. And I think uh, I was almost thinking about getting a different hat, um, and I actually had to wash this hat. It was the first time I ever washed a hat, and I don't know, since I'm not a hat person, what do you do with it? Do you chuck it in the laundry machine? Do no, you no, no. Put it I in got, dishwasher? I, got... do you... I use- I use the toothbrush uh... and just scrub it. <laughs> oh, that's-, that's... we that's... Know. Okay. Why not? That Why not? You just scrub a, scrub a hat. I have one of those like plastic mold things that I th and I throw it in the, uh, the 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 washer. Okay, so do hats not have cardboard brims anymore, or the, is that? Like no, a they usually have like I want to say plastic, plastic or now? some sort of okay. plastic. Yeah, okay. I think I it varies by hat. Okay. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I actually I started wearing hats a lot during the pandemic too because I just couldn't get a haircut and my hair started to get mm -hmm. wild and dealing with it before being on camera, similar to you guys. Like I was just like I'm just gonna throw a hat on. 
make it yeah. easy. But then I kind of stopped because someone said that I'll lose my hair quicker if I wear hats too much. And like, I'm already like, oh. see, like mm. looking at the lines, I'm like, all right, no more hats. I got to just get my hair cut and I'm make like, it last. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know. It's if probably that's not true. true. I did no research at all. I just uh, heard it and I was yes. like, huh. All right, well, right, right, right. well, then uh, throw these hats in the fire. Throw yeah. these hats away. <laughs> I hate hats. Burn I'm not all hat your guy. hats. <laughs> yeah. No, but that is a thing too, right? Like, uh, you know, you know, you go into the office, you know, and you get, I don't even wear jeans anymore, right? So, like, mm. you know, I, I'm not getting ready to go into the office where I would maybe mm. dress a little nicer and a hat doesn't always complement that sort of, uh, you know, style. So it would be more of, you know, when you wear a hat when you're working from home, it's sort of just like, ah, I woke up, I'm not really caring about anything right now. Let's do it. Let's do a podcast, you know? That's but, how I feel uh, generally, yeah. So, Lucy, do you ever wear hats? Is what I want to know. Uh, not indoors. I have a very small head, so mm. um, you know, hats just don't. Never really been part of the equation. I did go on holiday to Joshua Tree recently, and I had a hat that I wore outside because I've lost my sunglasses. Like oh. a ball cap, or like a, a different. Oh kind no, of like thing. a little, little cap. It's yeah. got a cute little smiley face on. Nice. Um, it's just a little nice white hat. And oh, I think it's because the only hat that I had was a remedy hat that they mm. sent me. <laughs> okay. And um, my partner was like, I'm getting you another hat. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be walking around with a smiley face on your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Hats are weird. I feel like um, I didn't realize. Are they, are they weird? They are weird. Uh, I feel like They're I have. weird. I can, I can go pick two hats and one will look totally fine and one will make I, what I look at. I'm like. Man, I just look like a doofus. <laughs> I can't yeah. go out. This hat, this, I don't know what this hat's doing, what geometry or what impossible angle this hat has now made my head look a completely different shape. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't know, I became particular about hats too. There's like two oh, no. hats in the world. Yeah, you, you, like that is definitely a thing. You need to find the hat that fits you, that, yes. that makes you feel good for sure. I also do like the fact that hats are very much now ingrained in fashion in a way that I don't think yeah. they have been. Oh, they've That's, always sort of no, been, but now like, yeah. no, they always look. They always have been, of course. If you think of like who's seen a photograph taken in the 30s where like everyone wasn't wearing a hat, I get it. Like that, that's definitely a thing. But I'm talking about like you know this now hats. I don't think they ever went away, but they definitely seem to be much a part of contemporary fashion for sure. Sure, yeah. people wear hats because these streamer kids they're wearing hats right. in the stream. It's back yeah. in style. That's, that's right. it. That's right. Dude, we're trendsetters. That's not true. We're hat influencers. I'm a hat influencer. This is what we are. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna end this okay. podcast. There was a correction. We got a lot of them in. Uh, but oh I'm, gosh. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, oh gosh. Because it's long. But it was very nice. We got a lot of corrections about the Snyder Cut and its format uh, and how movies are filmed. Uh, and it was actually a really uh, great correction. We got about a hundred of, the, of these in. Uh, really enlightening some of our audience in their professional yeah uh, it was awesome careers and that uh, was uh, wild and how you know hey it's, it's actually a little more complicated and you know the, the, it is filmed on this format and then it is cropped into like 70 different formats for the different uh, destinations and who knows what the original intent was and, and all this stuff but it, it was good uh and the one i picked was from kevin so thank you kevin for sending it in but um we're gonna get out of here because i think i think jeff gersman's gonna stream some battle in wonderland after this okay. if you're watching this, if you're watching this live so god bless him <laughs> take your hats off for jeff gersman <laughs> stream some battle in wonderland uh i want to give him all the time in the world for that so uh before we get out of here jake and lucy anything going on at GameSpot? what's uh this is, this is your chance to pitch what's going on you want to start lucy Sure. Uh, I'm working on a weekly show called Console Crew. We're talking about the kind of ins and outs. Uh, GameSpot After Dark weekly podcast. I mean, other than that, my big thing is I'm going to the UK for a few months. Oh, yeah. That's right. We yeah. didn't even mention that. Well, that's a big yeah, topic. It's... Yeah. Just uh, just heading over there for some fun. You know. Just for, <laughs> I mean, it's it's been a whole situation and I'm still, I'm still working at GameSpot. I'll still be on everything. I'll just be doing it from the uk and not in san francisco uh i leave in three weeks so wow. a lot of packing to get done a lot of admin stuff i just found out that venmo doesn't work unless you're both physically present in the u.s so gotta figure huh. that one out Weird. um yeah so there's just a bunch of stuff going on like that really 
in my personal life. But I'm on Twitter at Lucy James Games. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is just GameSpot After Dark. Just GameSpot's podcast. It, it, we record Wednesdays, goes up Friday. We don't do it live, but if you've got questions, you can. Wait, send you that record to you. Wednesday and it goes up Friday? So you have a whole day to process it? Yeah, I give it a day. Don't give Vinny Fuck any ideas. It. What are you doing Wait. there, Jakey boy? What, what, if, what if news happens on Thursday and then it's like, why? Well, I, I, I put it in the title. Uh, like when Last of Us got delayed, it was like, oh, and Last oh, of Us oh, got delayed, oh, episode oh, oh. whatever. <laughs> That's amazing. Bless I don't know you. if it's a good idea, oh, but you know, no, it's good. Oh, it's an idea. Get <laughs> ready. Love it. Oh man! You know, like, just... Look at Vinny. Vinny's He's just, mind. This whole world of possibility yeah. has uh... this just... and the tea. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> just go get my tea bag. It's jumping in my mouth. Um, okay. Well, best of luck to both of you. Uh, and Lucy, good luck with the packing and, and the move. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and... it's fine. I'll be back. It's like Lucy James will return. Yes. Oh, visas. I'm gonna yeah. uh, backlog. What do you got going on? I'm gonna start the music. Uh, nothing. You. No, no, Great. Going on. You didn't even give me time to find the music. <laughs> See, you. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> there we go. No, I can, I got nothing really happening here. I got. I'm gonna be doing some keyboard streams real soon, figuring Ooh. out all the logistics of building that up. Because let me tell you something. If you thought it was complicated streaming live pinball. Oh. Keyboards are like Ooh. as complicated, really, in a lot of ways. I would yeah, not, I would not assume that. And maybe pinball is a little more complicated, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's a chore. But I'm getting there. And um, I'm do it soon. Is the name of that game? Is it Balan Wonder World? Is it Wonderland? I always forget it. It's Balan Adventureland. Stop it. Uh, stop. Balan Underworld, I think. Balan's yeah. Tales Undertale. of the Underworld. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they are. Um, we have a Genesis Noir quick look quick look up on the site um we have what did we play on wednesday geez i'm i can't remember what, even what we did yesterday oh brad played some doom eternal um we got balan coming up uh all sorts of stuff i'm gonna try and get to the evil genius too uh maybe next week i don't know if i'll have time tomorrow but soon games coming out hopefully soon um if it's your birthday out there hey happy birthday now we're in april a whole new batch of birthdays for april uh, we got the hot spot tomorrow. We got some more shows coming up. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll be back. Uh, thanks, Jake. Thanks, Lucy. And thanks, Jeff. We'll be back next week.